Welcome everybody. Good morning. We are kind of starting walking because I'm I'm running late. I'm I'm, I'm early. It's, I'm, it's early. I'm not good in the morning. Let me put the for a second. Welcome everybody. Hopefully everyone is doing good here today. We are gonna kind of start off with a little bit of a like chaos. Usually we always start and like put the stream down. Um, welcome everybody. But um, yeah, for those who don't know, if you do stay at a resort, you do get early park admission, early entry. Um, so yeah, so we have early park admission today. So let me try and go over here for a second. I'll pull up the chat. And um, yeah, if you guys are coming in, it'd be a huge help. We don't really do early streams very often. So if you want to hit that like button, that would be a huge boost. Okay, let's, let's get a scan in really quick and then I'll pull up the chat. Yeah, I was up early this morning too because today was the day. If you're a pass holder, you can book the cabins, the new cabins over at Fuller, so I'm going the wrong way. Um, so I woke up at 6.55. I called the pass holder line. They said, okay, we're having some issues. Call back in a little bit. Uh, I called back, so apparently for pass holders, you have to wait till 3 p.m. So. I hope so. We'll just do what we do here today. It'll be great. Let's check in. This way. I'm gonna go with the chat, see what we're doing. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a very abrupt, very last minute thing. I was just awake and I was like, oh, let's go. Let's go to the park. Oh, Vision, welcome, Vision. Also, welcome to Craig's Robotics. And Lorraine, welcome, Lorraine. Hopefully, you're doing good. Today's gonna be awesome. So, Matt wanted to join me. But he didn't, he didn't feel like getting ready. And also, um, we have a video releasing later tonight. So he's doing finishing touches on that. Jeremy, welcome, Jeremy. Also, welcome to M. Debbie, welcome, Debbie. Also, welcome to um, Rhonda. Welcome, Rhonda. Hopefully, you guys are all having a very exciting morning. I'm still waking up, so please bear with me if I don't sound awake or lively. Yeah. Katarina, welcome Katarina. Also welcome to um, Jeremy. Welcome Jeremy. Uh, Joseph's here. Welcome Joseph. So weird. All, so, so everyone knows I didn't really have time to explain it because I, I started so late. But early for admission starts at 30 and it only includes from Tomorrowland to the end of Fantasyland. <laughs> Marty, welcome, Marty. How are you doing? Oh, no. We don't need Ash Orbiter. That would wake me up, though. I know um, during the 23-hour stream, I was exhausted, and I, I went on Everest, and that woke me up, so... It's very cold today. Like, it's actually cold. So, like, I don't know. If we went on Astro over there, I probably would. I don't know. I'd just freeze. Dan, welcome, Dan. Good afternoon. Or morning, whatever it is. Olivia and Joey, welcome. Hopefully, you guys are all doing good today. Attention, travelers. Your journey has been temporarily delayed. For your safety, please remain seated. Thank 
Kristen, welcome Kristen. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, so we're gonna head, let's go over to Peter Pan and look at that situation. You can see like everyone's just running to whatever they see. Even Buzz had a full queue. Um, so we're just gonna see what we can do. It's always good to get a early start. If we can like also get like a rope drop, like actual rope drop, like everyone rope drop, like at nine, uh, we can stay along the line at Fantasy Land and run to Haunted Mansion when the rope officially drops for everyone else. Debbie, welcome, Debbie. Also, welcome to KB. Welcome, KB. And Madison's here. Welcome, Madison. Hopefully, you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday today. It's been awesome. So, Matt and I have been busy. We did a video yesterday. Um, and we'll be busy the rest of the week. We'll be streaming like every day. Monday and Tuesday is a good day for us to kind of like recover, make plans, do a lot of stuff. So yeah, it'll be great. Today we're gonna have a stream here this morning. And then we're gonna hopefully, assuming everything's working with Matt, we're gonna redirect you guys to a premiere of our newest video. And then after the premiere, you never know, there might be a member stream, there might be another stream later tonight. That's kind of up in the air, but that's kind of a brief overview of what to expect here today. Oh, my train. What are you guys looking for? Jungle Cruise on the other side of the park. Oh, Megan's here. Welcome, Megan. Just for your hand, say hello. Busy week. A busy day at work today. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hopefully work goes good. Hopefully you have a good day so far. Let's go over to the theater panel. We'll go look over there. Kate okay, Toast Tucker, welcome. Good morning. Hopefully you're doing good. I am not awake, but hopefully you are. Hopefully you've been doing good. It's always fun to come early though because like nobody's been in the area, so for all we know, we could go over by Tiana's and like I don't know. There could be things happening. I always want to try the breakfast here. I'm not, I'm not a breakfast person. I don't like breakfast. I'm very particular with my foods. Welcome, Jordan. Welcome to a chilly, but also a very fun morning here at Magic Kingdom. We're glad you could join us. Hopefully, you're having a great day so far. Yeah, it's like 50 degrees, but I'm surviving. It's been great. Let's go this way. Welcome, Cindy Charles. We've been doing good lately. Also, welcome to Zach. Yeah, I can see my breath right now. It's so cold. I was originally going to go out with a t-shirt. And Matt was like, oh, it's 47 out there. And I kind of didn't believe him because usually when it says 47 in Florida weather, it's so humid it doesn't feel 47. But it is cold. <coughs> Tammy, welcome, Tammy. Freeze is okay. Okay, so there's a little bit of a key here. Let's do Small World. I know it's not the best one to do during early entry, but we're in the park before anyone else. And by the time we walk back to anything else, it'll be nine o'clock already. So yeah, that's Peter Pan's exterior view. Oh, the Curtis family. Welcome, Curtis family. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Welcome, Nadine. Hopefully, you're doing good. 
we are waking ourselves up with some small world so if you like small world get excited if you don't this is your one and final warning to get your ear bugs out but um yeah this is this is kind of going to work as our, our morning cup of coffee so if you're coming in feel free join us for a fun adventure here today there's no lightning lane so this line should be moving pretty quick oh jeff davis is here welcome jeff oh no it's too cold i don't know what we're doing i don't know what's happening here first of all it's early second of all it's cold so it's, it's kind of it's not something you get from me every day so it will be interesting electric umbrella welcome electric umbrella and gary welcome gary so yes we are rope dropping small world for the record today so yeah it's, it's gonna work like our coffee we're gonna wake up from it so it'll be good I got a late start, so like, for me to actually like seriously rope drop like mine train or something, I would have had to be here like 10 minutes earlier. So, we'll, we'll do what we can do here today. Yeah, so we're right next to Haunted Mansion, so we might try and pop on there at some point. But that being said, if you guys are coming in, I am not an early morning goo. So we do not stream much in the morning. So if you want to help out the stream, if you guys do want to hit that like button, that's essentially going to act as a boost to share at our stream. So um, yeah, if you guys want to help us out, if you want to get some more people in here, a lot of the goo crew either works in the morning or is like me and doesn't like to wake up early. So any boost we could get would be very much appreciated. Other than that, feel free. Enjoy the rides. We'll see what we do here today. It'll be fun. We'll kind of just try and get like a nice morning of rides. We'll go through. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of the parade. I'm not sure at this point, but there's a chance Matt might come out though. So we'll kind of wait for him if he comes. Jake, welcome Jake. Good after, good morning. Good after night, I guess. Yeah, so I was up early because if you guys missed it, so apparently today is the day that if you're an annual pass holder, you can book the new DVC cabins. So we've been saving some money aside to do the cabins because I know, first of all, I want to check them out. Second of all, I feel like people have asked us, they said, oh, goo, you got to check out these cabins. So we, we tried to book one this morning as of now. Um, they are telling um, pass holders that if you want to book one, you have to call at 3 p.m. So, um, I know there was a little bit of a delay yesterday for our DVC members because yesterday's was DVC's day to book them if they DVC, like if they wanted to do it by cash, not by points. So, they could be giving like DVC the advantage because yesterday didn't go as well. But it's kind of a mystery. JC, good afternoon. Oh, Armstrong would have been fun. The problem is, I just wasn't prepared, so this will work out good though. Oh, clean with clean services. Chomps, welcome, Chomps. How are you doing? Welcome to the morning. Welcome to watching me wake up today. Hopefully you're doing good. Thank you. Good Wolf. Welcome, Lone Wolf. Hopefully you're doing good. We're going to try and wake up with a little bit of small world this morning. So feel free. We'll be good. Uh, one time. Thank you. Good morning, Megan. Welcome, Megan. These seats are always so low. 
also welcome to Pete's and uh, Fox and I are welcome. I hope you guys are doing good. Enjoy the ride. I'm not going to talk during the ride. So enjoy it. We'll see you guys afterwards. Hopefully we'll wake up with this. It will be good.
and we were asked to disembark. All of you are <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. If you did enjoy Small World, hopefully you guys enjoyed um, Small World. That was great. We got to do it our first ride. It was kind of our coffee for the morning to wake us up. So that was great. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna try and just go ride to ride. Uh, let's pop over here. Christina, welcome, Christina. Also, welcome to Cell Cargo, Richard, Kelsey, Julie, Soshana, and Lisa. Welcome, Lisa. Hopefully, you guys are all doing great. Like a normal morning, the queue for Peter Pan is full. But it was weird. Like, for a couple of days, there was nobody here. Like, the parks were completely empty for a couple of days. This is long only because I don't think the exterior or the um, extended queue is open. One and done. Welcome, one and done. Good morning. Hopefully, you're doing good. Yeah, crowds have just been like inconsistent, which is kind of horrifying. So. Yeah, so essentially whenever a haunted mansion has a long line, if it's outside the door, like right after they open, that could be a chance that they have like the interior queue, like the extended queue not open yet. So like right now, it's either they're just letting people in or they're opening that queue right now. So 
That being said, the sign only says 13 minutes, which in Haunted Mansion terms means a walk-on. So, I don't think it'll be very long. Okay, it just went up to 25 minutes, not bad. are joining us this morning i am still tired but we had a great time we rope dropped kind of and now we're gonna try and get our haunted mansion so hopefully you guys are prepared to be scared very spooked it'll be great we'll have a great time here today it's still early enough that like not too many people are using lightning lanes right now so like the lightning lane queue isn't full or anything so i think we'll be good i don't think it'll take very long if it does I'm patient this morning, believe it or not. Gamingham, welcome Gamingham, how are you doing? Yeah, the new cabins, I don't know what to think of them because the pictures, the concept art they released look, said, at least to me when I saw it, I was like, okay, I don't really like these. They released like a video, I don't know if it was a concept or what it was, but like it was like a, like actual like walkthrough video where they point out like references in the cabins. In that particular video, it was the barrel bridge back. I didn't notice that. But in that particular video, it looked, it looked like a good hotel room. It still doesn't look like a cabin to me. So, like, I'm, I'm open to it to go into it, like, with the hotel room aspect. But at the same time, Fort Wilderness holds so many memories. And I feel like for so many different people, it's, like, a tradition to come and, like, stay in, like, the original cabin. So, um, especially now that they're, like, DVC. I know they're not DVC 100% exclusive, but... Yeah, it'll be tough. The rooms remind me of the rooms that they did at Wilderness Lodge that we stay in, the DVC rooms, like we did on the 23-hour stream. Which, I mean, don't, don't, they work as a hotel room, but I don't think they work as a cabin, so I think that's my, my only issue with it. Chris, welcome, Chris. Good morning, Chris. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're more awake than I am. Big Thunder would be great. Paula, welcome, Paula. Good afternoon or good morning, whatever it is. <laughs> See, that would be fun. Like, on a cold day, nobody wants to go on the water rides. So, like, even... It really depends like on busy day people will still do it but like if it was a cold day most local people won't even want to risk it on pirates but it would be fun like when tiana's reopens i don't know if there's gonna be a slow time because it's kind of a newer attraction well if you guys are joining us here today we are about to enter the haunted mansion so if you're coming in, please feel free. Hopefully you're not as spooked as I am. We're gonna have a spooky time. And um, yeah, if you're coming in, please don't forget. Don't forget to hit the like, that would be great. Other than that, hopefully the ghosts don't get me.
from side to side, that's the right wall to wall. Yeah, Okay. Number one, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in today. Hopefully, you're doing good. Yeah, the half box scoop. Mark, welcome, Mark. Also, welcome to um, Diane. Welcome, Diane. Enjoy the spookiness. Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. <laughs> the real chills come later. Now, as they say, look alive, and we'll continue our little tour. And let's all stay together. Very spooky. Well, if you guys are coming in, hopefully you're not as spooked as I am. We are about to go on a journey throughout the Haunted Mansion, so feel free. Enjoy. We'll be getting on very soon. There you go. There's some spider webs. Dan, we're so glad you could join us here tonight. Hopefully, you're enjoying all the fun here today. 
Also, welcome to um, Doctor. Welcome, Doctor. So once we get on the ride, it's gonna get a little bit tougher with connection. We'll still be able to hold it, I think. I think it'll just get very grainy. So just stay with us, enjoy what you can. I'll try and um, play with it a little bit to make sure we can get a little bit of good quality throughout the ride. But um, other than that, it'll be spooky. We'll wake up, enjoy all the fun things here in the morning. It's always great because the best time to come to Magic Kingdom is either early in the morning or late at night. So it's, it's great, we always do later. So today will be a good day to experiment in the morning, see what we do, and um, yeah. Not very long for Haunted Mansion, so we did pretty good, I think. Albert, welcome, Albert. Oh, hey, Jonathan, how are you doing? So welcome, Lisa. That's a good question. That's probably because mor the morning is spooky enough, like waking up early. So you're probably extra spooked. Thomas, welcome, Thomas. Good morning. Hopefully you're doing good. We are going to attempt to ride a very spooky ride. So feel free. Be spooky with all of us be spooked, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. So as I said, Paulie will drop. Stay with us. We'll be good. I think. Thank you.
serpents and spiders, tail of a rat. Call in the spirits wherever they're at. Rap on a table. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your
Okay. That was fun. Let me see. Look at the chat really quick. I know there was a little bit of lag. Thank you guys for staying with us. Um, yeah. Haunted Mansion can be a little bit tough, especially when, like, the day, like, the crowds are here. Like, now it's 30 minutes, so, like, the queue is full. So, it's always tough because Haunted Mansion is one of those rides where, like, it's just terrible. Connection is terrible in there. So thank you guys so much for staying with us. Hopefully you guys got to see some of that, I think. Hopefully the Hatbox Ghost came out. He's a very spooky guy. But um, that was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was good. Tiki Man fan. Welcome, Tiki Man <laughs> fan. Good morning. Yeah, so today we've been just going everywhere. Apparently Pirates is closed. But we're going to try and do pretty much every ride we can do um kind of a valley with the crowds we'll see what else we can do so today's just gonna be like just do whatever we do it'll be great chris welcome chris good morning Ninja watches. Oh, we sure appreciate you. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. enjoy. Thank you yeah. for doing what you do. You save us so much time yeah, by showing we us. We just have what... so much fun doing it. Yeah. We just go. And we love your 24 yeah. hour deals. And... I'm still recovering from that. <laughs> <laughs> but... I'm sure it's hard to recover. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's good yeah. to see you guys. Yeah. Do you want to say hi on the show? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Sure. yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah. It's a Mr. beautiful, Duke cold remembers. day here. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get nice, like, right it now, is. like, as the sun's coming out. Yeah. It's not too cold. It's not too warm. So. Yeah. Well, we're from Wisconsin, and oh. we were the same temperatures this morning. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm from Ohio, so. <gasps> so you're right. right? Yeah. Yep. I, I, I kind of adapted to the Florida weather, but at the same time, I'm still... Get cold, cold is a shock. So <laughs> yes, yes. Well, thank you yeah. so much for all that you well, do. Thank you so much. You're yes. so you guys. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. That's awesome. You guys are coming in thank you guys so much for coming along as you guys know i'm not an early morning goo early hours are not what i like to do but it's great i love being here at magic kingdom you can't be being there in the morning and although you have to wake up it's one of those experiences where like you can you literally can't be in a morning at magic kingdom or morning at epcot for that matter because just walking through these parks all parks actually um it's just very peaceful like right now, like it, there's people here, but like you can walk. There's not like crowds. You're just walking through peacefully. Country bears are rolling around. What more could you ask for? It, it's it's great. James, welcome, James. Good morning. And Colin's here. Welcome, Colin. And Michelle's here. Welcome, Michelle. Sorry if I miss anyone. Sometimes I do miss some people. Um, but I did notice, so the barrel bridge over on Tom Sawyer's Island, that's probably old news. I just noticed it right now. Apparently it's back. Maybe we'll have to go over there. Sounds good, Lisa. Thank you so much. Hopefully work goes good. Matt is currently, I don't know what he's doing. He was going to try and get our cabin. We're trying to get the DVC cabins because today was the day that you book them for um, pass holders. Hey, 
Andrew, welcome Andrew. Good afternoon or good morning. I keep saying afternoon because we've been doing so many afternoon streams. But good morning everybody. I'll wake up, I'll wake up. But here's your morning look at Tiana as you can see. All the flowers are as flowery and vibrant as ever. There's people working on it. Yeah, I mean, you can see they're definitely adding some like greenery, some like moss to the side of the mountain because that was that was just previously had nothing on it. So they're definitely doing some things. They're kind of adding some more um, like green and like, I guess you call um, greenery, I guess is the word to say. But yeah, it's crazy. Every so often you come by here and you see they're actually running the boats. I don't think they're going to be running the boats for a little bit because there's actual, like, there's some of the boats right there. But I can't imagine they would be running the boats, like, if there's... Like, if there's actual people, like, working on the site with hard hats, I don't think they'd be running the boats very much. Welcome, Tyler. Good morning. Yeah, as of now, so I think Pirates was closed. I'll check in a second. But Thunder Mountain is currently closed, too. So sometimes you get a little bit of a delay in the morning. I want to check. Oh, they did it. This is history. Okay. So for those of you wondering, it looks like, or can you go around it? I'm waiting for the day they're just going to like rope this whole part off because they're really going to need to do some construction work over by the bathrooms. Yeah, they're definitely changing the concrete a little bit. But you can go around here. Let's go over here. Yeah, so the park itself, it's hard to tell right now. Yesterday was kind of a step up. So if you compare yesterday to the rest of the week, the week before that, like the weekend and the first couple days of this week were completely empty. So yesterday was a little bit more busier. I don't know what today is yet. It's too, too early to say. But there's the mural. There's the train. Nice train. They're definitely going to have to do something back here. I just keep waiting. I, I really want to see them do something. Because I just, I just don't know what they're doing. They're not really saying much, like, about to what extent. Meanwhile, at Disneyland, they're announcing they're doing gift shops. They're announcing all these different things. We don't even know what's happening to our gift shop. It's not even open, so. Welcome, Nathalie. Good morning. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Hopefully, you're having a good day so far. We're having a great time. We're going around. We're checking out all the different updates. We're riding a couple rides. We already rode two rides we don't get on very often. So, we got to do Haunted Mansion. We got to do Small World. And it's still continuing. So, I think we're going to head over towards Pirates. Big Thunder is down right now. And assuming Pirates gets up here very soon, I think we'll have a good time. so quiet over here because Big Thunder is down and usually Big Thunder is like really loud. But that being said, if you guys are coming in, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you guys have not, if you could please help us out. So we need some help. If you guys could please hit the like button. There's my illustration for the morning. If you want to hit that thing on your screen, 
it'll essentially share out the stream, get more people in here. So if you want to hit that like button, that would be great. Also, make sure you subscribe as well. We go live at least three times a week. We are currently, I believe, 62 subscribers away from 8,000 subscribers. So yeah, you never know. Today could be the day, tomorrow could be the day. 8,000 is a huge number we've been trying to get to. So thank you so much, everybody. Coco. Also, welcome to uh, Manta Ray Travels. Welcome. Good morning. And Michelle, welcome, Michelle. Good morning. Well, you're good. Hopefully, work is going good. Glad we could bring you along, bring a little e extra good enjoyment to your day. You take a picture or something. Okay, we're good. Let's go look at pirates. We'll go loop over here. We'll look at. I won't cruise to see how that's done. Oh, Francois, welcome, Francois. Hopefully, you're doing good this morning. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Glad you could join us here today. It is the early morning, so we're definitely taking advantage of lower wait times and just enjoying what we can do here today. So, thanks so much, everybody. Let's head over towards Pirates. We're gonna go look at Pirates. And um, we're just gonna try and ride as much as we can, honestly. Took a little detour to look at Tiana's for a minute. Does that say five? Or no, it's 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's go check on Pirates. I think it's still closed. And if it's still closed, I guess we'll head over towards Tomorrowland. Maybe get on the people mover. We can head over to Fantasyland. I don't know. Oh, somebody to a train ride. Train ride would be great. Yeah, it's still closed. Okay. We'll head this way. Doug Paws, welcome Doug Paws. Good morning, hopefully you're doing good. Today we are taking a morning to enjoy the Magic Kingdom in the early hours of the day. So if you're coming in, please feel free. Enjoy it with us. Let us know if there's anything you guys want to see. But it'll be a good day. We've already gotten two good rides. We've already walked around. Okay, fast stroll over to the short. We can do it, but it's too cold for fast stroll over there. Yeah, so we do have a video we're going to release a little bit later, uh, which is great. So we're going to have a video and a stream today. Uh, maybe also member stream too, so if you're a member, be sure to have your notifications on. You never know what will happen. But we did a video yesterday, and it was great. So everyone always knows Steakhouse 71. They made some, like, big changes to their menu, and I think some of them are going to upset some people. Um, for lunch... Lunch isn't that bad. They just got um, a new chicken sandwich and they replaced the salmon with a, a different salmon. 
which I think is even better. I didn't try the whole one, but this one was good. But they also got rid of a couple desserts, which a lot of people like. They changed the creme brulee. And also the peanut butter and jelly wings. Everyone talks about those wings. They changed them. And now I think they're like a honey chipotle wing. Those are the lounge. So. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so many different menu changes. If you guys want to check out what that menu may look like, we did the video. And I will release a little bit later today. So. We'll try and like redirect you guys if that works out, but we'll see. It's been a good day so far though. Alyssa, welcome Alyssa. And Peter, welcome Peter. Good morning. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they try and change it, Jeff. I don't know. It seems like whenever they get something really good, they try and make it better and it just doesn't live up to what it used to be. So I guess we'll keep our eyes open. I think they, um, the cast member we talked to said they, they're probably going to try and change the lunch menu more significantly next year. So I guess we'll, we'll enjoy our snack burgers. But it was hard because we went to Steakhouse 71 for lunch and I couldn't get the stack burger. Matt wouldn't let me, he told me I had to get the new items. Anthony, welcome Anthony. It's true, Astro Orbiter tour fine. I got very close to riding Mission Space last night, but I didn't. Which was good. Because I don't even know if I'd be streaming right now if I went on it. Oh, Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. Good morning. Hopefully you're having a good morning. Hopefully you're more wide awake than I am. We're going to head over towards Tomorrowland. We're going to hopefully get on the People Mover. We'll check on Astro Orbiter. And we'll see what else we can do. Excuse me. Let me look at this real quick. Oh, Robbie, welcome, Robbie. Watching for the first time with our two week old looks like a magical day. Good morning. Well, good morning, Robbie. We're so glad we could bring you along here today. It's been awesome. We've been going around getting on some rides, so that's great. We're so glad we could bring you along. Let us know if there's anything you want to see. I know we can't always take every single request, but if you want to let us know, um, we'll always do our best to see what we can do for those. So thank you so much. Enjoy the stream this morning. Oh, Sunny Eclipse is a nice guy. Yeah, we'll go see him sometime. So Mission Space Green, I did. I, I have never done Mission Space Orange. Because everyone always tells me, oh, dude, you can't, you can't ride that. And I'm like, I'm like kind of scared, but like at the same time, like how, how bad could it be? But apparently like people who can handle other attractions, like people who can go on every single ride at Disney World have ridden that ride and still gotten like terribly sick that they can't move and they have to lay down. So I'm just horrified, honestly. Crystal, welcome Crystal. Two crystals are in here. Welcome to both of you. Hopefully you guys are both having a great morning today. Thanks for coming in today. It's been awesome. We're just having a nice relaxing day here. green I don't get sick on it I got a little bit dizzy just because the graphics were so bad and they were like I don't know maybe I'm just being overreacting but I feel like the graphics were not syncing to the movements 
and that kind of threw me off it didn't like i wasn't like sick or anything but kind of made me a little bit dizzy not like bad dizzy just a little bit like thrown off a little bit but yeah green for me it's okay it's more just i don't know i'm just horrified of orange i don't want to i don't want to die Yeah, Astro Orbiter is pretty busy this morning. Astro Orbiter is one of like the worst rides to try and go on because capacity on that ride is so terrible. And you could be waiting so long and it, like the queue isn't very long, but like you could be waiting hours because um, first of all, the elevator takes so long. And then second of all, it's just a process to get you up there. Yeah, that would be preferred, Megan. I don't want to die. You don't need to go on the first base. But thanks again for watching, everybody. If you guys have not, make sure you do hit that like button. Every like will help out our stream. Other than that, enjoy the stream. We'll see what else we do. We'll see where else we go. It's been a pretty good day so far. We're going to try and do the people mover. Yeah, I was thinking, like, if I ever do Mission Space, I'm going to do it at the end of my day. Like, if we're doing a stream, I'll, I'll end the stream. I'll, I'll say, oh, there's the, there's the, there it is. I'm going to go ride it, and then I'll ride it. I would never do it before a stream because I don't, you never know. Maybe I just won't be able to walk afterwards. I got very close to riding yesterday. Yeah. Well, thanks again for coming along, everyone. If there's anything you guys want to see, whether that be a ride, whether that be a store, or whether that be a restaurant, be sure to let us know. Always happy to take suggestions, always happy to take recommendations. If there's any way we can make the stream more enjoyable for you, please let us know. But other than that, feel free, relax, enjoy our fun day here today. Um, so far, it's been awesome. We've been able to have early entry, so we got to go in the park a little bit earlier. Uh, we got to rope drop Small World, which has worked as our um, cup of coffee this morning. So we've been having a great time. We appreciate you guys coming along. As of now, we are currently in line for People Mover, which will be going up momentarily. So feel free, enjoy the ride. We'll see what we do afterwards. It is getting hot. That'll be a good day.
every so often but for the most part we're just gonna enjoy the atmosphere so feel free enjoy when you're in there thanks so much everybody at all times keeping hands arms feet legs and other appendages inside your car and please supervise younger beings stay clear of the doors which will open and close automatically enjoy your journey para su seguridad permanezca sentado y mantenga sus manos brazos pies y piernas dentro del vehículo y cuida sus niños gracias please step carefully onto the moving platform then step into the car for your safety remain seated at all times keeping hands arms feet legs and other appendages inside your car and please supervise younger beings stay clear of the doors which will open and close automatically Enjoy our journey. This is the TTA Blue Line, non stop service around the world. Thank you. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Warak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky, the absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster lamps, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not. Thank you. Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Treatment. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Orac. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are the longer sold. <laughs> now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Road. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light speedy competition. It's me, welcome, it's me, also welcome to um, Andy, welcome Andy, hopefully you guys are doing good, enjoy the ride, nice morning, Andrew, welcome Andrew, do you ever go to the interlude so, every so often, I think you have doing a stream coming up soon. Destinations. Why 
lights are on. Let relaxation wash over you at the most refreshing retreat in the galaxy, the Coral Rooms of Pisces 7. You H2 owe it to yourself. Book today. Welcome, Ashley. Good morning. Mr. Tom Morrow, please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. The train. Oh, and Ernie is here. Welcome, Ernie. Good morning. Hopefully, you're doing good today. Enjoy the people. Carousel of Progress. As usual, we'll keep moving ahead, and so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Take the time to see this show. 
Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, our people mover journey has nearly come full orbit. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite part. Because now is the time, now is the best time, to go out and explore tomorrow, today. See you in the future. Oh, D-Lo, welcome, D-Lo. How are you doing? This is the TTA Uber, non-stop service around tomorrow. Please keep arms, antennae, and other appendages away from the doors and remain seated until they open automatically. Step onto the moving platform with caution and exit by stepping away from the car. Thank you. Please keep arms, antennae, and other appendages away from the doors and remain seated until they open automatically. Step on. Away from the car. Hey, welcome, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Space Mountain is very horrifying. Not only is it bumpy and it like bumps you all around. Also, if you had the lights on when you're riding it, it'd probably be even worse because there's like all kinds of things. It'd be like Big Thunder Mountain. You know that drop where it looks like you're going to hit your head like and then you just go down all of a sudden? It would probably be like that, but not actually themed. Alright, that was fun. Oh, good morning, Hannah. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, weather is wonderful today. We're glad we can bring you all along. I, think I kinda wanna do carousel for us. It's been a long time. The darkness kind of it kind of scares a lot of people, but I feel like if it was lighter, I think it'd be even more horrifying. Shelby, welcome, Shelby. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a wonderful morning. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. It's been a very good day so far. If you do not think you can stay for the entire 20 minutes, we ask that you please exit now and return at a later time. Oh, Chris, welcome, Chris. That's very true.
Health is Needs Carousel of Progress. For your safety, please remain fully and completely seated for the entire 20-minute duration of this show as the theater will be rotating. So please stay seated at all times, no food or drink, and supervise your children. Thank you and enjoy the show. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Oh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away It's a dream come true for you and me, so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. Ah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. The moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot and just three buckets of coal. Oh, well, it sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that, holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene, no more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets to the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. Well, ovens don't just clean themselves, you know. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. Oh, uh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not going to say I told you so. Oh, I think I'd come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. That's not a toy, you know. Ooh, la la. So that's little Egypt doing the hoochie coochie, eh, Dad? Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Aw, oh, Dad. You heard me. 
Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now that is something. It plays music right here in our home. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic you're taking Mother out for Valentine's dinner this season. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and mine. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter, you hear me? Yes, Papa. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain <laughs> and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, <laughs> there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. And as a dream, and as a star, <coughs> he follows his dream with mind and heart. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true. we've had in years. We've come a long way, though, since the turn of the century, over 20-some-odd years ago. You know that pilot fellow, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single-wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never going to make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fellow, Babe Ruth. Jazz music is the cat's meow. And there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jolson. And he's going to talk and sing. Oh, boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> there goes Schwartz in his Huffmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. Whoa there, you blow a fuse. Correct. That's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh -oh. And I blow the whole neighborhood again. Easy, Rover. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse. Shucks. Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the parade starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program, and right? I've decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sawing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. And Wait I'm... until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. <laughs> Grover, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. Oh, it's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crosley radio set, we can get news and big-time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Over starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular Fourth of July parade. Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? If my new boyfriend, Theodore, sees me in this, 
it'll scare him away. Well, dear, if that happens, he'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> oh, father. Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. <coughs> Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow's just a dream away There's a dream that that's the story He follows his dream with my heart And when it becomes It's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now, and we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes, and thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> Yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Are you awake, dear? A new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o' lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. Oh. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all the rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. <coughs> craze these days. We're remodeling our basement in something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. 
Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last laugh. What happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. Uh, the rumpus, the room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say, if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow's just a dream away It's a dream come true for you and of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away. Isn't it a pleasant holiday? I know, turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes! 300 points, my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here he comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, you can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% brighter. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice-activated stuff. Watch this. Rover, beep. John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Look at that. It even talks back. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose him, Grandma. Bang to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? <laughs> yeah, I think. Really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe. Nine hundred and seven. What? Uh, uh. Three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our oven. Well, maybe by then, ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I Starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's gonna be so automated you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again.
Thank you for joining us on Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. We hope you've enjoyed this tribute to the 1964 Carousel of Progress from the New York World's Fair. Please gather all of your personal belongings and exit through the doors located at the back of the theater. Have a great big beautiful day. And remember, tomorrow is just a dream away. There we go, that was awesome. Here, let me move over here for a second. Oh, it feels so weird. Like, it's been a while since we did, like, a show on a stream. But, like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm, like, falling asleep. But that was great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Carousel of Progress. The Carousel of Progress always brings the good enjoyment. So, thank you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That was a good uh, little break throughout our day here today. That was awesome. Let's go this way. Mara, welcome, Mara. Good afternoon or good morning, whatever it is. I keep saying afternoon. It's it's definitely morning. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go try and get another ride. Maybe we'll get Dumbo or a Barnstormer, considering hopefully it's not too busy over there. And then I think from there we'll just see what else we can do. Maybe we'll stop over by Sunny Eclipse. Maybe we'll see the parade. It's, I think, at noon, right? They change it every day. It's too hard to keep track of. They usually do the 12 and 3 during the busy season. But I know this week they kind of scaled back hours. Ace, welcome, Ace. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Wednesday today. It's been great. We've been going all over the place. We've been going all over Magic Kingdom this morning. So we're glad you could join us. We're glad you could come along for a fun day here today. There we go. Fix the stabilizer for a second. Okay, we're good. Pirates would be great. Let me check on the wait time. Pirates was down for a couple minutes. If it's still down, I wonder if we should go over. Oh, it's 15 minutes. Or no, it's still down. I'm tempted to go over there in case it decides to open up. Because if it opens, it is definitely looking like it's going to be a busier day today. Okay, I think that's the plan. Let's look over here. We're going to go over back over by Pirates, and I think we're gonna, we'll loop by there if it's still closed, if it doesn't look like it's gonna open, we can get on the train or something. But that being said, if you guys are coming in, please do not forget, I believe we're less than 10 likes away um, from 300 likes, so make sure you do hit that like button. Other than that, feel free, enjoy the stream. It's been a good day so far. Okay, there is a parade at noon. Perfect. <laughs> you 
Yeah, crowds are on terrible today. At the same time, it is early. And I feel like, um, my, my analysis right now is we're getting back to a busier day. But it's not going to be like what we saw last week during the week when it was terrible. So, assuming that Pirates opens up, I know everyone, everyone I walk by is like, oh, is Pirates open yet? So, I know whenever it does open, everyone's going to rush there. There's the castle. Nice castle. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming along here today. Um, we always love coming here. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, a little bit of Magic Kingdom this morning. It was great. Weather is perfect today. Here and welcome, Eric. Hopefully everyone is doing good here today. We're going to be heading over towards Adventureland, so stay tuned. We'll be going soon. And we'll go from there. Meanwhile, if there's anything you guys want to see, if there's any ride, I know definitely Pirates is a priority here today. But if you guys want to see us do anything or go in any stores or go anywhere, be sure to let us know. I think especially as we get closer to, like, Easter next week, crowds are definitely going to get a little bit busier again, so... We'll see. I think it's just going to be a little inconsistent like it used to be. Oh, that would be fun, actually. Yeah, it was crazy. So one day we were here at Magic Kingdom. Um, and that was one of the busy days last week. I think it was like, maybe it was Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, they had a queue for the Swiss Family Treehouse. They were using like the extended queue, which is crazy. Well, I thought that was amazing. Like I've always wanted to step foot in that queue. I know it's not really anything special, but like, I don't know. You never really get, to, no one, not many people get to say, oh, I waited in the queue. Cheeseburger spring rolls are really great on the paper, but when you add the pickle juice, that's when it ruins it for me. Oh, David D. loves Disney. Welcome, David. Good morning. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. We could bring it along here today. It's been great. We've been going all over the place, enjoying everything we could do here today. Thanks for coming in today. It's been awesome. Mary's here. Welcome, Mary. And welcome, Blue Moon. Hopefully, you're doing good. Yeah, so the cheeseburger spring rolls. I know a lot of people like them. I don't like them because I don't like pickles. And the pickle flavor is definitely there, so I, I don't I don't get it very much. The pepperoni ones I'll definitely get, but at the same time, I don't know if they're good enough. They're just salty. You're welcome, Dave. Welcome to a very, very fun day here today. We've been doing like everything. We got to do Carousel Progress. We did People Mover. We did Haunted Mansion. Um, Small World. So today's a great day. Hopefully you're enjoying the, the stream so far. We're gonna try and head over in this direction. We're gonna observe the situation with pirates. And we'll kind of hang out in the area. Maybe we'll go ride the train or something. 
we could wait 20 minutes for the magic carpets. So it's always cheeseburger. They always keep the cheeseburger. The pepperoni one they changed. Like at one point it was like a pastrami one. And the pastrami one was excellent. Like it was it was perfect. It was for the 50th anniversary. And eventually they got rid of it and replaced it with like a chicken one. And I don't think anyone liked the chicken one. So I think eventually they just brought back the um, pepperoni one. So the pepperoni one's fine. Just a little salty for me. It's hard for me because like coming in a theme park like this and walking around all day, especially on hotter days, to eat some like really salty food. Steven, welcome Steven. Yeah, the pastrami ones were even better, so at one point they, they had like a house made mustard and that was great like that was fantastic you got the mustard you got the spring roll and it, it was perfect and at one point they, they i guess they just ran out of the mustard or they just didn't want to make it anymore they didn't want to make it in the house whatever house they're making it in um oh there's no one meeting jack sparrow over here but at one point they switched out for like a really generic like heinz honey mustard which I feel like at that point, to go from a house-made mustard to like a pre-packaged one, that, that's, that's disappointing. Tyler, welcome Tyler. So as of now, it is currently 58 degrees, but it feels kind of hotter because of the sun. I'm, I'm tempted, I'm wearing like a spirit jersey. I'm tempted to take it off because it's getting kind of hot. What's your favorite quick service? Um, I don't particularly, I'm picky. I don't like any of the food at Magic Kingdom. It's probably cheating, but I would say go over to Contempo or even then their food isn't like five out of five, but I prefer Monroe Resort food than Steakhouse 71 to go is a good option. But um, as far as quick service is here in the park, I do enjoy, um, Cosmic Ray is purely for the atmosphere. Food isn't anything special, just the average cheeseburgers. But, um, I don't know. Harbor House is like, not only is it greasy, but it just kind of sits in your stomach and it's kind of like, I don't know. It's not bad, it's just salty and greasy. Jackie, welcome Jackie. Also welcome to um, James. Welcome James. Well, hopefully work is going good. Glad you could join us here today. But as I keep saying, like, we don't know how much of this they're going to have to do or, like, how much of this area, like, at the exit they're going to have to do. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll just do it overnight. You really never know. Is this where we enter, I guess? Thank you. Let's get nice. 
see. Welcome, Todd. That's great. We'll enjoy the stream. Hopefully, have a good day so far. If you're just joining us, a hearty welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland, before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. And as always, keep an eye on your little ones. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love minding this railroad. But for those times I'm fixing for something a bit wilder, Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Is there, the trains have a mind of their own. at sunrise and telling the tale around a campfire that night. Considering how wonderful things are out here, I'm fortunate that some of my closest friends call it home. That village is a truly special place. Folks were just about out of the woods and into the forest. The enchanted forest of fantasy land. Where magic. Listen. Hear that? Sensational, the spectacular. 
terrific Fantasyland Storybook Circus. This is the place to soar with Dumbo or join Goofy in his stunt plane for some airborne acrobatics. This station is also your gateway to the rest of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Now, please wait until the train has come to a complete stop. Gather your juggling pins, unicycles, and other belongings, and carry your strollers away from the platform before unfolding them. That way, we can start loading up for the next leg of our trip. For those disembarking, please watch your step, and thanks for traveling with us. I hope you join us again real soon. If you're staying aboard, our next stop is Main Street Station. Please remain fully seated until the train is complete, full and complete stop, and you have heard me say those magical words all clear. Please remain fully seated, friends. You are now all clear. Welcome to Fantasyland Station. This will also be your gateway to Tomorrowland and Tron Light Cycle. Have a magical day. seconds so let's sit over here if, if that Well, looks like we got a super chat. Uh, Manta Ray Travels actually sent a 9.99 super chat saying, "Thanks for all the work you do. Treat yourself to something on my dime." Well, thank you so much. As we always say, like super chats and PayPal's, they are never required. Um, once again, these streams are always 100% completely free. But thank you so much. That was very kind of you. Thanks to you, we can do more. We'll definitely have to try and get something here tonight. Thank you so much. It never works. I'm confusing. I'm confusing. Yeah, I don't get it. Taylor could never get her work later. So the train opens with the park from what I understand. Okay. Hey, yes sir, you New York City up there on my planet Zork. That's where I got this amazing astro organ. Picked it up at a pawn shop, got it for a song. But hey, I love being here in Cosmic Gray's beautiful Starlight Lounge. In fact, I wrote a little song about the menu. So without further ado, here's some musical food you can taste with your ears. Cosmic Gray Starlight Cafe is a super galaxy franchise. The menu is from outer space, including the fries. Yeah. 
tips especially for you. Starlight soup and salad and some cosmic chicken meat. Light is a way old cosmic grace. Sends him to his restaurant for a place to eat. What a treat! One day I said to Cosmic Ray, my pay is really slightly pallid. I'd like to get a Cosmic Ray's today, but instead he gave me soup and salad. kidding about the Rays, man. Actually, folks, Ray pays me weekly. Very weekly. <laughs> and speaking of money, you know, romance is the same in every galaxy on every planet you go. Boy creature meets girl creature, stars in their eyes. Well, you know the story. I'd like to dedicate this next number to my girl. Uh, she has the most beautiful purple eyes. All six of them. She has almost perfect eyesight, too. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 19. That's not all. She has 12 nostrils. I'll tell you, that girl really blows me away. So I wrote this song especially with her in mind. With your kind permission, I'd like to sing it for you now. It goes something like this. Oh, bright little star, though I'm light years away from her now, I can't help but to feel that somehow we're both wishing on you. I imagine you light in her eyes as she gazes up into the skies. At this moment, does she realize you are in my eyes?
everybody that was sunny eclipse one of the best performers here at magic kingdom and it's great so sunny is a nice guy sunny is a musician an artist so it's great to pop over there i know i always like to grab a lunar lemonade and sit there and enjoy sunny so thanks so much everybody hopefully you guys have enjoyed our fun morning here at magic kingdom uh we are still waiting for pirates to reopen but as of now pirates and thunder are both down and everything is getting very busy So we'll keep an eye on everything. We'll do some shopping. Um, we'll try and catch the parade. The parade will be at midnight or noon, whatever it is. Oh, look at this shirt. That's new. That's fun. I like Rex. $35. That's great. Apparently, so that collection with like all the Pixar stuff, that stuff has been around for a couple, like a, about a month or so now. And apparently it's like all by one artist. And it's like a huge collaboration between that artist and Disney. I, I don't know, like I don't really keep track of all these things, but there's so many different like interesting merchandise. There's pen, there's munchlings. Munchlings are kind of, yeah, they're not really around much anymore. They kind of sold out, or um, they put a lot of them on sale, and the rest of them are just sitting there. This is kind of fun, like a, I guess like a summer hat. That's great. Antonio, welcome Antonio. Welcome to Magic Kingdom, hopefully you're having a good day so far. And CGL, welcome CGL, good morning. Cat Mouse Game, welcome Cat Mouse Game. We are currently enjoying the park, going all over the place, so we're so glad we could bring you along here today. <laughs> yeah, Sony needs to like have a like a like a CD. Chicago, welcome Chicago. Hopefully you're doing good today. Okay, let's head, let's walk this way. We'll walk over by. Poo. We'll look at Pooh. We'll check on some other things. We'll go on a couple other the fantasy land shops. And um, yeah, I think it's the plan for now.
<laughs> Matt's trying to text me how to do Photoshop. That's true, Andrew. Sony has a good good collection of music. Let's go this way. Pooh is currently 60 minutes. So it is definitely a busier day today. Also, considering two of the most like high capacity attractions are both down right now. It has been a truly adventurous morning. We've been going all over the place. We've been trying food, or we haven't tried any food. But we've been riding rides. I've been waking up. I don't like doing, going waking up early. But it's been great. It's been a piece of history. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along with me so far. We're gonna head over to um, Fantasyland. We're gonna go look at Peter Pan, a carousel. We're gonna go in some stores. So feel free if there's anything else you guys want to see, if there's anything else you want to do. Uh, be sure to let us know, that'd be awesome. Oh, Steph, welcome, Steph. Yeah, it was crazy how hot or how cold it was this morning. And now that the sun's actually coming out, it's actually getting kind of hot. But everyone's always waiting to pull the sword. It's a very popular thing. You're welcome, Noel. This is new. It's a very fun, like, um, tumbler with Fantasyland on it. That, that's great. You never know. Like, they always have some new merchandise, like, every single day in these parks. <coughs> so it's always fun to just walk around, check out everything. All, like, the um, ears and hats and things they have here, too. So pretty much every single Disney ear. So I'll say, if I ever am eating a Magic Kingdom, another food restaurant. Um, I always go to that's always a safe option. That's not, um, it's not bad. I like over at Sleepy Hollow, you can get the chicken and waffle sandwich. That's always like a good classic one. Yeah, Peter Pan is 16 minutes right now. But it's a good thing we got a good start. I feel like even. Even Small World is getting long. So it is definitely a busy day here today. You can see just by the people walking through.
Great. This is good quality merchandise at the soap dispenser. That's fun. It's like a little bath collection. Memento Mori is always a great gift shop, but I feel like the majority of the merchandise they have in here is pretty much always just like either restocks. Every so often you get a new collection of Haunted Mansion, but they always kind of keep us stocked with like recent collections. These are newer. Those are pretty fun. $16. Dropped one. You're getting a lot more socks around here. But I always love when they have like um, unique socks. I like this. It's like a long sleeve. That's fun. As of now, Haunted Mansion is currently 45 minutes, and like this whole area is full. So, yeah, definitely. This spring break has been a little bit inconsistent. If anyone remembers, even on the weekend, I think the last weekend, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I think a little bit of yesterday, Tuesday. Um, most of the time, like it was pretty empty. Like there was nobody here. So, like, just come if you're coming here always be ready for anything it could be empty it could be full it's best to be prepared for whatever it can really just change per day and especially as we're getting closer to easter easter is going to get even more busy so that's the fun of it so we went on small world earlier so if you guys want to check out small world we did it earlier in the day. It was the first ride we went on. So, like, even on days I'm not streaming, I'm always out walking around. And, honestly, when we're doing, like, a long stream, it can range from 20,000 to 30, the higher 30,000s. So, it's kind of funny. You never really know. I used to have a more accurate, like, step counter, and then my Apple Watch broke because Matt said I could take it in the water. that so the next wish cruise like the next like wish class cruise disney cruise ship is going to be the disney destiny um which apparently from what i understand they're going to be like prioritizing like the theme of it to be like the heroes and the villains which i think that will definitely be a very popular that's great i'm excited for the treasure we're gonna have to make it on there at some point Pugs, welcome, love pugs. Good morning. Hopefully, you're having a good morning so far. We're just currently checking out some new pins, walking around the park here this morning. So, yeah, we're glad you could join us here. It's been great. Lots of really fun pins. Those are awesome. I want to get one of these things and like fill it with different smaller pins. Thirty dollars. I guess this one you can like hang. Ooh. Oh, Leo, 
Jones here. Welcome, Leo. Welcome to the Magic Kino. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Wednesday today. It's been awesome. Today we've been hanging out around Magic Kingdom, going on some rides, enjoying some stores, going all over the place. It's been a great day. I'm going to stop here for a second. I'm going to take this sweatshirt thing off. Okay. Okay, we are good. Thanks again for coming along with us, everybody. We're going to head over in this direction. We're going to check on Pirates one more time. If Pirates is still having some issues, I think we're going to grab a snack at one of these different restaurants. And I'm pretty soon up here, I think in about 30 minutes or so, we have a parade to, to watch. So if you guys are coming in, please do not forget. If you want to help out the stream, please do not forget to hit the like button. If you don't know what the like button looks like, it looks like this. Um, there's one of those on the screen, like a little thumbs up icon if you hit that. Um, essentially what it does is it tells YouTube that we're streaming, you like this stream, and essentially helps YouTube push out our stream, get more people watching. So if you guys want to check out, um, want to help us out, that'd be awesome. Other than that, lots of things to look forward to today. It's been an awesome morning. some trees that's great um, and, and so that's what Splash Mountain is based on oh Ken Weber welcome Ken good morning hopefully you're having a great morning so far Welcome, Armando. Thanks for joining us on our adventure here today. I think we're going to head over here. We're going to get a snack. And yeah, it's been kind of a mystery. Pirates, I think, has been down all day. So I feel like everyone's standing over here waiting, which is going to be kind of difficult if we want to get out later. So I'm trying to kind of hover around the area because I know it would definitely be good to get this here today.
check something. Is filming okay? It's about to, yeah, filming oh, is okay. The show's good. about to start. Oh, great, thank you. the tiki room we need something to kill some time for the parade this will be great it's been a while Tiki, 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 tiki
some woods and the flowers grew. In the diggy 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 room, pretty alone. In the diggy 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 room, in the diggy 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 room, all the birds sing words and the flowers grew. In the diggy 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 room.
Somebody has stolen my tongue. The gods have been angered by all the celebrating. But me buck out, every cloud has a silver line. Monsieur <coughs> and Madame, it's time to say adieu. But we hope you will always remember the amazing things which happened here in Walt Disney's enchanted Tiki Room. The birdies had their fling. You've heard the flowers say. Wishes forever. Good, good morning. Yeah. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of the Tiki Room this morning. That was awesome. We never make it on there very much, so that was great. I always forget about the Tiki Room. We don't have country bears right now, so it's always good to have a nice little thing you can pop on. Not really have to wait very long. And yeah, enjoy a good show. There's some good, good entertainment there. That was awesome. Okay, let's go this way. I think we're gonna walk over. I wanted. To, I remember there was something I wanted to look at over by Tiana's. So we're gonna go look. I, I heard there's like um, some more details and the um, the things on the top. So we're gonna go over there. We're gonna look at the construction for a minute. And I think by the time we're done with that, it'll be noon. So it'll be time for the parade. Welcome, Jackie. We did not do Laugh Floor today. We haven't done, that's another one we don't do very often. We need to do that more often. I need to switch the phone here soon. That being said, we are only, as of now, only two subscribers away from our goal today of 7,948 or 4, 450, whatever. We're 48 right now. So if you guys want to help us get to that goal, it would be great. So we're trying to hopefully get to 8,000 by the end of the week. So if we can get to 50 today and then we'll have a couple more days this week to get to 8,000. So I think it'll be good. Thank you so much, everyone. Haley, hopefully you've been doing good lately.
Yeah, so a couple people have told me, oh, I subscribed and I thought I was subscribed. And then out of nowhere, I looked on YouTube and I wasn't subscribed. So apparently YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people. I don't know if they think it's spam or if they think it was an accident, or maybe sometimes you accidentally hit the subscribe button. So if you guys are watching, make sure you double check. We'll catch some entertainment over here. Today is perfect. It's a little bit chilly. Like some people are wearing like sweatshirts or spirit jerseys and they're feeling great. Um, I was wearing a spirit jersey. I had to take mine off, but overall like weather is perfect today. You're getting a good breeze. It's not really humid, but you can see right here. Some of the logs are currently being used and I guess they're just draining it. They're testing it. They're doing all the testing they're doing. Apparently they are testing with like water dummies now so like if they're doing that already that's a good sign for this thing that's why i think goli would make sense because if they're already testing with water dummies that means people are next so i don't know i guess we'll see big thunder just reopened i would like to pop on there but i don't want to welcome james Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great Wednesday so far. So apparently, so if anyone remembers, apparently back when they announced Tiana's or like kind of when, when Splash Mountain closed and they started talking more about the storyline of this attraction, apparently there was like a line of Tiana hot sauces and apparently there was like peppers that like you're seeing everywhere and like people have been like, oh, there's the peppers and they've been like adding the peppers to like random spots and apparently up there, See if I can zoom in. That little bush is like a bush of peppers. So I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful if they're really making like a line or like making a storyline with like hot sauce bottles. I think it's going to be a huge missed opportunity if they don't actually sell hot sauce. But this will be great. But you can see like even up there they're doing so much like greenery so much like um adding so much to that rock work over there so um it's crazy how much they're doing on this thing and like surprisingly pretty quick and this was new i noticed this when i was riding the train um they put glass up here too so i'm assuming if you look over here that area right there is probably going to be either like a glass or something they'll probably i guess they'll probably want to keep it open if they want to route the queue through there but we really don't know like how the queue is going to work for this attraction all this over here i feel like they could definitely change all this the problem i have over here is um the restrooms are kind of 
they kind of have like the font and the theming for Splash Mountain. So it'll be interesting to see if they ever change any of this. But you have some pressed pennies. I don't know. I just like to go over here and kind of speculate because I really, I think it's going to be a huge mistake if they don't have a Tiana restaurant or at least sell Tiana food near this attraction. Oh. So it looks like that's going to be a staircase. So they're definitely like changing up the queue compared to Splash Mountain. Interesting. Okay. Unless it's like temporary, but I think at that point, like the fact that we have stairs up, that's pretty significant. So yeah, so if you guys wanted to use the fun member emojis, here's my phone. If you look right here, it'll focus. You tap that little happy face and then all the emojis should pop up. So it's, it's sometimes a little bit different. I know it's different per device and different on like desktop, but usually there's like a happy face you can tap that'll kind of get the emojis out. But that being said, if you guys are members, coming up, we're going to be adding some fun member exclusive perks. So I know if you are a member, we're going to be doing member exclusive mini golf tournaments, which is going to be us um, playing mini golf, which will be fun. So if you don't know, Disney actually has two mini golf places. So they have technically four courses, but each one has two courses. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to be doing a mini golf competition once a month, the last Saturday of the month for members. So yeah, if you're a member, look forward to that. That should be, I guess this Saturday, right? I need to schedule it. I guess a week from Saturday. Oh, that's true, Hurricane Lake. It's interesting, like every day you're saying something different, so that, that's awesome. Bobby, welcome Bobby, good afternoon, or good pre-noon, whatever it is. So at this point of the stream, our current phone is dying, so we're going to need to switch over to our other phone. So if you guys want to stay with us, we will be right back. The line that you just saw was Big Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain was down all day, so it just reopened and every person on Earth is heading over here. So probably be the same thing with Pirates, so we'll try and get Pirates a little bit later, but I guess we'll just see how things work out. That being said, stay with us. We're going to switch phones. We're going to have a little bit of lags for a second, but it won't be that, won't be that major. It'll be pretty good. You can just stay tuned for just a moment. Okay, we'll be right back everyone. Stay tuned. We're gonna have some lag for a second. We will be back in a moment.
the tree. Crystal Palace. So Crystal Palace for breakfast. Breakfast is the better meal in my opinion. Breakfast is $48. Um, lunch and dinner is 61. So my advice is if you go at the end of breakfast, so breakfast technically ends at 1045. So if you grab like a 1030 or 1045 reservation, um, you can eat from both the breakfast and the lunch menu. So you can kind of have your own little bunch. So that's what I always like to do. And you only get you only get charged breakfast pricing. Okay, we're good. So for those coming in, the parade will be happening in about seven minutes. So stay tuned, relax, enjoy. We should be getting the parade here very shortly. Yeah, that's one of the best ways to do it, Jeremy. Well, a final reminder, if you guys are coming in, we have about six minutes until the parade, basically five at this point. So if you guys are joining us, if you want to help out our stream, um, we have so much fun doing this. We're having so much fun bringing you along this morning. But if you want to help us out, if you actually do hit that like button that actually shares out our stream, um, get some more people watching. Other than that, make sure you subscribe as well. I have received news that Matt is on his way to help us with the stream. So we're going to keep the stream going. We're going to see what else we can do. We might go somewhere else. We might stay here. I guess we'll see whatever Matt wants to do. But either way, stay tuned. We have the parade coming in about five minutes or so. And then afterwards, we have a full day ahead of us. Thanks so much, everybody. It'll be great. Surprisingly kind of chilly, actually. Disney Kim, welcome Disney Kim. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you're having a great Wednesday so far. We're glad we could bring you along here today. It has been a good day. We got to ride People Mover, Haunted Mansion, Small World, The Train. We got to see Sunny Eclipse. We got to see the Main Street Philharmonic. Um... Yeah, I think it's been a good day. It's been good. We got to check on Tiana updates. We got to go on the Tiki Room. We got to do Carousel Progress. And it's only been like three hours, so it's been a pretty good day so far. Um, oh, Chicago. Welcome, Chicago. Hopefully, Chicago is good. Hopefully, it's not too cold over there. It's awesome. Today, we're here at Magic Kingdom. We're going to watch the Festival of Fancy Parade here at the 12 p.m. So stay tuned, lots of things to look forward to. It'll be a great time. Also, do not forget to subscribe as well. We are only 49 subscribers away from 8,000. So thank you so much, everyone. We did reach our goal, and we're going to get to 8,000 here very soon. Thank you so much, everybody.
Yeah, we had um, early entry this morning, so we got to come in early. That being said, I was I was shook in a little shock this morning because I woke up. Um, I was trying to get the cabins because some of you guys know the DVC cabins. They're actually going on sale for pass holders today. Um, and I was I woke up at 7 because that's usually whenever the, um, the line opens to, like, get reservations and whatnot. But they said to call back at 3. So I was up early this morning. I thought, okay, let's go do something. So... It was fun. We woke up. I, I was a little bit late, so we didn't get to do too much during the early entry, but it was still a fun time. We got a head start on everything. Oh, LP Disney. Welcome, LP Disney. Hope you're doing good today. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Hopefully, you've been doing good. Crystal Palace is okay. It's definitely better than like your average theme park uh, buffet, but like um I would say it's gotten better. It used to be not very good. It's 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 got to the point right now where it's it's decent enough to go to, but I wouldn't pay the price unless you really want to go to the characters. That being said, breakfast is pretty decent. I like breakfast. We went um or I went by myself the first day breakfast return. And it was great. I got to go. They had the um, churro Mickey waffles, which they have on Disney Cruise Line. They brought to Crystal Palace, which was great. So, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. All right, we have about a minute. Enjoy the parade, everyone. We will see you guys afterwards. Hopefully, Matt will meet up with us. It'll be a good day. Thank you so much, everyone.
Well, if you guys just watched that, that was the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, seeing that. That's fun. We never really see it very often. I know a lot of people really enjoy that parade. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully the view turned out okay. That's, that's always fun. We've gotten some good rides. We got some good parades. It's been an awesome day here today. But if you guys are coming in, thank you so much for joining us. If you guys are new, please do not forget if you guys could subscribe. We go live at least three times a week. Most of the time around five or six, probably. Most likely. So thank you so much. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the stream so far. We're going to go meet up with Matt. And we'll go from there. Get some beignets. <laughs> oh, Doug is here. Welcome, Doug. Hope you're doing good. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, Steph is here. Welcome, Steph. So if you guys are coming in and probably thinking to yourself, oh, Magic Kingdom looks great today. I wish I was there. I wish I could be enjoying the parade myself in person. Oh, they brought out the corn cornhole. It's probably going to be a little bit longer for Pirates. But if you guys do want to book your trip to come here to Disney World, if you want to check out our friend Steph. Steph is actually a travel agent. Steph from Mickey Guru. Being that she's a travel agent, she has plenty of advice, plenty of experience with these trips. And sometimes it's a little bit intimidating. You have a lot of things to figure out. You have to say, oh, I have to book my resort. Do I even need park passes at this point? So if you guys want to do that, if you want to book your trip, uh, make sure you check out Steph over at Mickey Guru. Steph is your travel agent expert who can help you book your trip here, Universal or SeaWorld, wherever you might want to go. So thank you so much, Steph. Hopefully you're doing good. I'm going to change something very quickly. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, the parade is always so much fun. I never see it very much because I don't really, I never really get a chance to actually come and see the parade very often, so. Yeah, I, I miss the nighttime parades. I like to come out to the parks at night, so I don't know. Well, if you guys are coming in, we're just sitting here in the pool for a second. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean is currently down. Pirates and Big Thunder were down for the majority of the day. So for a majority of the day, everyone was just kind of hovering over here, waiting for it to reopen. Um, that being said, they did bring out like the games. So they have like a cornhole. I think they have like a little like yard games to keep people excited that want to stay around so at this point if they bring up the games usually that means it's going to be a little bit longer so um as of now we're going to go find matt we're going to go do what else we do we can always go to another park we can go to disney springs we can go to some of the resorts so if there's anything you guys want to see if there are any suggestions anything you guys want to do here tonight um be sure to let us know that'd be great other than that um it's just nice to be in the cool for a second we're kind of a hot parade spot Clary, welcome, Clary. And Nick is here. Welcome, Nick. How was your trip? That's awesome. David um, put the link for Steph if you guys want to book your trip. Okay, so I have received word from Matt. He is currently eating some corn dog nuggets. So let me, let's get up. We'll head over towards Main Street. You never know. We might get another view of the parade over there, too. Okay, we're good.
So Matt's working tonight. He works, I think, at like four or five. Tiki Room earlier, which was kind of fun. We never get on Tiki Room very much. I feel like, feel like especially now that um, Country Bears is closed, we kind of need um, to enjoy those rides while we can't, or like, enjoy them as much as possible, just because... I don't know. We would always do Country Bears, and we'd always forget about Tiki Room, so... It's always cool to go over there and check that out. <laughs> yeah, so we, we rope dropped Small World, which is great. We did Small World, we did Haunted Mansion, we did People Mover. Pirates has been closed, so no pirates. But we did Carousel Progress, Tiki Room. We rode the train. We got some Tiana updates. It was a good day so far, it's been awesome. I love these like mornings at Magic Kingdom. I know it gets kind of busy, but it's always fun to go around here. Been Ernie. <laughs> Julie, welcome, Julie. Hopefully, you're having a good morning so far. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. I think at this point, I can officially say it's afternoon. So I think I'll be right when I wish people a good afternoon. Okay, I think I see Matt. A Diet Coke. Is that like one of the big ones? I don't know. I just don't oh. regular Diet Coke and this is what they... There's a parade again. You didn't get to see it. No. No? That's alright. Okay, let's go somewhere. You want to hook up microphones? Yeah, that would be nice. I need a drink. I'm thirsty. I can have some of this. I don't really want all of it. I just want to...
All right. Well, hello, everyone. So what do you want to do now? I don't care. I, I, I chose everything all morning, so it's your turn. I'm checking wait times. What's yeah. Family Treehouse is five minutes. We did basically everything. Nice. Well, do you want to leave? I was thinking about it, but I want? wanted to do Pirates, but it's been, out, don't, it's been down all day. Nice. So. Well, if we were to leave, what's the place to we go to? We could go to Epcot. We could go to Springs. <coughs> we could go to Animal Kingdom. Oh, I, I wouldn't mind going to Animal Kingdom. I don't think I'd but be able to yeah, go. It would it'd be hard for you I, to get back. Maybe tomorrow I should go to Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I, I work um, at 4.45, so I can't stick around too okay. long. But tomorrow I don't think I work till 6. Okay. And well, do you want to just hang out here, or do you want to go to the resorts? Or? It's up to you. Um, let's walk around a little bit. I guess okay. we could, I don't care. We can walk around uh, a little bit. I guess more. let's walk around a little bit, and then... There you are. Yep. Well, welcome, Will. And Princess Jamie. Welcome, Princess Jamie. Hopefully you're doing good so far. Oh, Adams. You're welcome, Adam. Adam says it's a 23-hour stream energy. Gosh. It's like when we, we took breaks. And we, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was a busy bee this morning. Yeah. What did you do? I finished the video. Yeah. And I tried to make a thumbnail. And then I was on call for the um, cabin yeah. to be booked. Well, we're gonna have to be on call again in like an hour. Why? Or at three. Oh, are we gonna call? Yeah, are we? No, I guess we can call and see I what guess they it's say. It's gonna be the same dates, right? So, from what I understand, um, starting September 23rd, I don't know if this is exactly true, but from what I understand, Starting September 23rd, if you have DVC points, you can book earlier, like on your points. So this is the earliest, September 27th is the earliest you can book if you have, um, if you're booking on cash. But you'll oh, be able to book for earlier, starting April 23rd. Oh, okay. If you're booking with DVC points. So if we, well, if we could, if we like rent some DVC points or something, then um, we might be able to book on that day. I don't know. It's all complicated. We've been trying to book these new cabins at um, Fort Wilderness that are supposed to open July 1st. Originally, they said you'd be able to book starting yesterday if you're DVC and starting today if you're a pass holder. And then the system went down yesterday. And now no one really knows what's happening. <laughs> Margaret, welcome Margaret. Good afternoon. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. Today is a shocking day. Today we've returned to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. To enjoy all the different things going on here. You can see Matt is here, but he was late. Nice. So he gets to decide what we do next. Well, let's just walk this way. Okay. And then we can leave the park and go to either resorts or Epcot. Laugh Floor would be great. Matt doesn't do Laugh Floor. Why didn't you do Laugh Floor when I wasn't here? I don't know. What about let's go do the um, riverboat? River, oh, no, you do the riverboat. You can do the riverboat. And you can do Laugh Floor. Well, I just streamed for like four hours. It looks like they're, I think they're leaving. Oh no. I'll say the riverboat is fun. I just don't wanna, I'm, I'm, I'm impatient. I just sit there and I sit there. Yeah, they are already working on the um, cabins. I actually saw a video. Yeah, you saw the um, video Ken sent us where somebody saw them taking one of the cabins away. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, Apparently they're gonna be constructing the cabins like on site at Fort Wilderness. Okay, Steph is gonna call it three two. Oh okay, cool. Let us know.
the snow stuff. That'd be great. Yeah, that's what Goo called this morning a couple times, and they said that pass holders could start booking at three. But um, I don't know if the only issue we have right now is we just need to be able to. Well, we want to get it before September or yeah, September twenty seventh. It's not a big deal if we don't. We still so, have something. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> I will say the price was reasonable. I was prepared to pay like... I was afraid it was going to be like $1,000 a night. Yeah, yeah. But it was under $500 the night. It was eight something for two nights. Total. I'm going to um, stop here for a second. I'm going to drink some of this. Okay. I don't want to spill it, so I'm going to stop for a second. Do you want to go on the trading post? I can. And look at the merchandise? I'll be right in. We'll see if they have anything um, different. I like this Chef Mickey pin. That one's cool. What time is it right now? Oh, well, it's only 12.30. It's still early. We've got plenty of time. The next go de la Cruz. He was my favorite. We went to um, Boogie Boogie Bash at Disneyland two years ago when we were there for D23 Expo. And they had all of the villains lined up. Like, um, well, like they had their own area, and then you would line up, and you could get in line and I don't like that whistle, but it was just like a walkthrough. Like they had the villains there, and you could walk by them and wave, and they would be acting. And Ernesto de la Cruz was out there playing his guitar, singing. <coughs> Oh, did you not do people? Look? We might do people. Look. I am kind of tempted to leave. Wonder what the wait times are like at um, Epcot. Did you find anything? No. Okay. Well, do you want to leave? I don't care. We can stay around a little bit. I was going to check what the wait times were that got. Yeah. So we did People Mover earlier. Oh, you did I know people David move. D was asking about it. So, I mean, we can do it again. I'm not opposed to doing something again, but at this point, it might be worth going somewhere else. It's up to you, though. I'm open to anything. Let's see. Wait times aren't bad. Gosh. What? So the longest wait time. At a cut. Is 75 minutes, which is test track. The second longest wait time, 60 minutes, mission space. How long is Frozen? Or Remy? Frozen is 45 minutes. Remy's down. Remy is 55 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah. But everything else is like 15. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like Soren is 15, Spaceship Earth is 15, or 10. Nemo is 5. Can you go to Epcot? Do you have enough time to do that? <clears throat> I guess so. I'll have to leave at like probably 2.30. Okay. So if that's fine with you. Yeah, so we have two hours. Okay. Okay. Are you good holding it for now? Yeah, I can hold it. Nothing happening with Country Bear Jamboree. So you hear about all that um, stuff that's happening over at Animal Kingdom? With like the um, like the backstage area yeah. by, yeah. They have the permits filed. People are right like there. speculating that's going to be like the base for all the um, expansion they're doing. Yeah, because they're adding like parking lots and yeah. stuff there. Um, I wonder when it's gonna... I mean, like, that, that for all we know, it could, I mean, it's probably gonna, I don't think they're gonna close Dino Land before D23. Yeah. They're probably gonna announce at D23, if that's the case. Well, but we need to, know. we need to go... Document it. Document it before D23. Because what if we're there yeah. and they announce that it's closing They've like done that. the next day? Ride, uh -huh. like, okay, you have like 
20 more days to go. Yeah. So we'll have to go do it before we leave for D23 because I don't want to be stuck in California yeah. while Dinosaur is closing. I tried to member stream Mission Speaks, or I tried to, um, not member, just, I tried like to test stream, it. yeah, like test stream with nobody watching, just to see if it would hold on green, and it did not. Um, I don't know. Was it, like, completely gone, like, if we played with it? Yeah, I don't I know. I mean, it wouldn't like, be a thing to do this second, but. Yeah, but, um. Did you I try Wi-Fi? I think I did, yeah. I tried, like, everything. When do they plan it? What do they plan on doing with Country Bear Jamboree? So it's going to be still um, the same type of show. Um, some of the characters will have different costumes. And the music will be different. It'll be like old country versions of Disney music. Liver lips will now be Romeo McGrow instead of Liver lips McGrow. It looked like um, he's like wearing a different wig too. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, people are saying the stream is like it, it's not synced. I don't know. Should we refresh it somehow? I think it's it probably it Should might just be just let that it fix they itself? need to. Refresh, maybe. I don't know. It looks fine on my end. Okay. But, like, is the sound synced with the... Oh, yeah. If we need to redo that, we just turn off and turn it back on. Okay. Simple fix, but we're probably fine now. Okay. Oh, the Curtis family. Welcome to the Curtis family. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Wednesday today. Thanks, it's been awesome. We've been all over the place. There's Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace <coughs> itself. Somebody was asking about Crystal Palace earlier. That's not a bad meal. We haven't huh. been in a while. Breakfast is good. We stopped going when they brought the characters back because they increased the price by 20 bucks to compensate for the characters. I, I, I revealed my secret. If you go right when they're ending breakfast, you get breakfast and lunch. Yeah. And you only get breakfast or you get breakfast pricing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to do that. here today. I don't know well, what's they happening. Moved, they moved all the munchlings here. Ah. There's not a lot left. Before no. it was like a whole room. Yeah. Now it's one shelf. Interesting. Yeah. I hmm. guess they're, maybe they're just not popular anymore. Maybe they're moving on to their next thing. Maybe. Remember, um, I think munchlings debuted at D23. Yeah. Maybe right? they'll have something at this D23. Yeah. I like the way they're doing um, D23 Expo this year. Normally the way it works, oh. so it's like a big Disney convention put on by Disney. And it's where they announce a lot of their big stuff. Um, and so they'll have like um, just big, big rooms where they'll have a bunch of chairs and everyone sits and they announce all their things up on stage. But normally people will wait like overnight to be able to get into those and this year they're doing it in um like a stadium with reserved with, with seating. Reserved seating yeah so we so won't like, have to worry about 
Yeah, you don't have to stay up all night to get your spot. We haven't even gone in the past just because, like... That's one of the reasons Like, I'm not going to go sit out there all night waiting. But, yeah, now... Let's go... It's a um, little bit more expensive. You want to go outside? Yeah. Um, let's go in the jewelers. Okay. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. What, the reserve? It'll be about $300 a person. Yeah. For the three days. So I don't think you get reserve seating, like, in the panels. No, just at the Honda so Center. So you're still, I mean... But, like, if you get in all of those panels... Yeah, the... So the first night, you're going to have... The entertainment one. The entertainment one, which is going to be all the movies. Yeah. So, like, and Pixar, we'll... uh, Star Wars, Marvel, all that. And then the next night's going to be experiences, which will include parks, other experiences, cruise line. And then last night is the legend ceremony. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That'll be very cool. So this is the... The new Wish, wish. collection. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There it is. That's fun. I wonder how long they're gonna keep um, pushing Wish. I don't know. Excuse me. I wonder if they just really thought they were gonna like get ahead of the game on this one because I feel like with most of these movies they'll release them and then they become popular and then like later on they'll start like having characters and stuff. Yeah. Like with Moana well, when it came out, I feel like they maybe they want it to be like, like a really good box office I guess success so. maybe. Maybe they're trying to get the word. Well, it's a little late now. I guess it's on Disney Plus. Not yet. Oh, it's not? No. Well, it will be. They're trying to get people to sign up. Well, they're probably taking their time getting on Disney Plus. Because they'd rather people go to the theater and watch it. Is it still in theaters? Wait. Yeah, I think some theaters. Not very many, but like... I saw it at AMC the other day. Interesting. But I think um, they're trying to make you wait so you kind of regret like... Because they don't, they don't want people to wait and say, oh... Why would I go to the theater and watch it if I could just wait two months and watch it on Disney Plus? Yeah, that's what everyone always says. Yeah, so. Yeah, people used to camp outside the convention center. And then I think they put a stop to that a couple years ago. Or a few, a couple conventions (coughs) ago. Um, And then people would get there early and camp out in the basement of the convention center. That's what somebody said on the... D20 on the Facebook page. I never went, so I I didn't see this. But apparently they would camp out in the basement. Um, so this year they're just doing away with all of it. It's a good idea to get reserved seating. I think that's that's what's making me want to go more. Yeah. Oh, welcome Buffalo Crew. Oh Buffalo Crew, welcome Buffalo Crew. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. There's the country beer poster. Nah. Nice poster. Oh, and Jeff S is here. Welcome, Jeff. Jeff is late for the stream. No, you're good. Matt was late for the stream, too. Yeah. He just got here a minute ago. (coughs) But we are only 45 subscribers from 8,000 subscribers. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Where's my lovely child? All right. So, monorail there? I guess so, unless you want to take a boat to boardwalk, or a bus to boardwalk. What's monorail? Is that okay? Yeah. It's not that bad monoraling to Epcot, because you can just transfer across the platform. Yeah. If you're coming back from Epcot. You have to walk down the thing and then back up the other one. Even the resort monorail, you can go down that little pathway. Yeah, yeah. Which is fun. I always like going down there, like, for the longest time, I didn't even know it existed. But, goodbye, kingdom. It was a nice morning. We rode the train. Gosh, was it nice? Yeah. 
So, you know how Tiana's is, like, um, showing the hot sauces? Yeah. So, apparently they're, like, adding peppers everywhere. Gosh. That's what somebody told me. And, like, over by, in the bushes, you can see some peppers growing. Hmm. In the facade or whatever you call it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, here comes the monorail. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us, everyone. We are going to be heading over towards Epcot. So stay tuned. We'll see what we do. It'll be a good time. Here we go, Prince. Come on in either side, Hello. left or right. Thank, Thank you. you. Where should we go? Um, as middle as possible. Because we can just walk across the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah, it'll be great. Weather is perfect today. You bumped my head. We'll see. I got worried at first when I was talking to Ken because he said that there were there were some dates that the people were looking at that um it was only letting them book seven nights stays oh, in no. the cabins. Yeah, seven nights would get expensive. It would be fun to do seven nights, but it would be yeah. How much would that, I would do? I guess three thousand dollars. I would do seven nights at the like at the tent. Seven nights in a tent. Yeah. Would yeah. you? Yeah, I guess so. I would do like a month if I could at in a tent. You've never I wanna... actually lasted more than one night. No, yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, last time. Seems like every time we've gone. No, when we went during Halloween, the weather was perfect, and I was yeah, perfect. I guess the Halloween yeah. one we did. We need like an air conditioning unit. Or like a, um, we just need to bring like a cabin with us. We need to buy a cabin and put wheels on it and just take it to one of the campsites. <laughs> it's basically an RV. Well, I saw someone, I was trying to find it. I saw someone on, um, I don't remember if it was YouTube or TikTok or where they were, but they had a inflatable tent. And I See, was trying awesome. to figure out like what, what exactly it does. Like why, what's the benefit of it? I don't know. What do you say, like, Goofy has, like, a good... Goofy has a good... Yeah, didn't you say that? 
or like a RV or something. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah. Or no, no they slept in their car. Yeah. I think yeah. They have a tent too. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Pete. Yeah. Had the RV. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. <coughs> James, welcome, James. I love the campgrounds because you can really make what you want out of your campsite. Like you could, you could take a tent, you could take an RV, you could, you could haul a full mattress with you if you wanted. It's great. We are currently holding for further traffic clearance. Please remember to stay clear of all automatic doors. If you're standing, please continue to hold on to the silver handrails. Thank you. Oh, do you see the cruise line? Oh, the, um, yeah, the, the new group, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the new cruise ship? I haven't really looked at it, but it seems like a good um, idea. So it's going to be like themed after the heroes and the villains. Yeah, yeah. So it could be cool. Please Spot. What? My spot. Your spot? Yeah, my. Alright, lead me to your spot. I'll follow you. Going to Epcot. No resorts. Nobody thinks to go like all the way down over here. Nobody's always here. It's always the best. Okay. Are you? Are you oh, go ahead. Are okay. you more excited for the new cabins or the new cruise ship? Probably the new cabins, because I don't know if I'll ever get on the new cruise ship. That's true. They're gonna do like month sailings, and you have to like. You have to go for like. Well, the treasure it's seven night sailings. Well, it just keeps going up. The wish was four nights. Yeah. It's multiplying by two. Well, but I feel like so. most of the new ships do okay. seven nights. Yeah. Like um, like it's all fair. the new Royal Caribbean ones do yeah. seven nights. And when the wish was four night cruises, people were upset because they said that wasn't long enough to yeah, that's be true. on a like get to know a new ship. So everyone was booking back to backs. Yeah, that's. That sounds fun though. I would like to do that, like mm -hmm. a back-to-back -back cruise. Yeah, you don't. You can stay in the same room. Yeah, that would be that if would you be book fun. it correctly. I want to do. Um, personally, for me, my excitement level is at D23 right now. Yeah. That's where I'm like. That's where it is. That's where my excitement mm -hmm. is right now. Because reserved seating, like to actually be in there with all those announcements, like the major announcements, and the like parks announcements. The parks announcements. The movies one will be fun. The I don't really care that much about the movies. But I don't really, I'm not that, it's not the biggest thing to me, but I'll go to it. How hot is it right now? It's like 70, I think. The it's cool not. thing about the movie, like the entertainment showcase, yeah. is they show like previews that oh, nobody else true, gets yeah. to look at. So yeah. I always wanted to be there and like see that when nobody else can. And they said that, um, 
because it's going to be in a stadium, they'll be able to do things this year that they haven't done ever before. So there's going to be some new stuff, I guess. Like what? I don't know. That's all they said. They just said that because it's in a big stadium, they'll be able to... Maybe they'll shoot off fireworks or something. Oh, that would be fun. They could do fireworks. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay, Alrighty, thank you. I need to look at this stadium. Thank you. I assume they have like a giant screen or something. Yeah. If nothing else, they'll have one set up. Because like if you can't see anything, it'd be good to I'm not going to pay $1,000 to get a good view. Yeah, they have preferred seating that's $1,000 a person. So let me ask you this. Like, in D23, they always sometimes say, oh, if you're in here, we're going to give you guys all this. Yeah. Does that mean everyone in the stadium is going to be able to get one of those things? I guess so. Are they really going to have that? Like, give away things like that? Probably, because that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if they'll do it for everyone or, like, just preferred or, like, maybe they'll give it to, like, the first certain amount of people that get there. But I feel like they probably won't do that because they're trying to avoid the chaos of people lining up. So they're not going to give something to like the first like yeah, that's true. thousand people that are there or something like that. Um, I mean, they can always like have people at all the exits giving out thanks to you as you leave the stadium. Mm -hmm. Or like normally what they'll do at um, they can give everyone something as they go in. Yeah, yeah. Normally what they do is they'll leave stuff on your chairs. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, but I feel like that's a lot of chairs. Yeah. <coughs> that's crazy. Like having Did you see like um, all gold members for the first time ever this year? All gold members will get a pin. Yeah. A special pin. That's fun. Yeah, that'll be cool. Bomb Iger is bringing back Chapix. Metaverse, have you heard about that? I heard that there was, I know they're doing some kind of panel on like um, immersive stuff or something like that. Yeah. And they said that it's gonna be, like gaming is gonna yeah. be a big Apparently, part of this Apparently, yeah. Oh. I don't know. It could have something to do with um, Apple Vision Pro too, because yeah. Apple and um, Disney tend to do a lot of things together. You see with the Apple thing, like the you can do 3D with Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Well, it looks like we got a super chat. Um, Diana actually sent 499 saying, wonderful stream. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you so well, thank much, Well, thank you so much, Diana. We've been having a great time here today. We're so glad we could bring you along here tonight. So, yeah, thank you so much. We're so glad we could bring you along. It was great. It's been so much fun today. Oh, could they do drones in the stadium? I guess they could. It would just come down to local regulation. Yeah. Um, I don't know how close that is to... We need some drones here in Florida. That um, airport there, the John Wayne. Um, we need drones here in Florida. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks so much for coming in, Steph. Thank you Maybe so much. We'll see you later. Hopefully the meeting goes good. Yeah. Have a great day. Oh, that would be great, Jeff. I was just thinking last night, Animal Kingdom needs like a nighttime show. Yeah, that would be cool. Especially if they're trying to upgrade that park with um, Dial Land and everything. Mm -hmm. I assume whatever they're doing with that um, the parking spot or the that parking area they're doing, they're probably gonna. Um, that's probably gonna be for everything that's going on there, including yeah. the Bugs Life replacement, 
and if they ever decide to do any more in the park. Which I mean it makes sense if they do more. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to make that park more popular. Oh, welcome Luke. Oh, Luke. Welcome Luke, how are you doing? Luke has some important weather updates. Gosh. start moving. I'm going to fall asleep. So there is a no-fly zone, apparently. From what I've heard, from the questions I've asked, there is a no-fly zone, but that Disney could change that. Potentially, I don't know how that would work. But I don't know. Somebody said that they could and somebody else said they couldn't. I really don't know. Yeah. Animal Kingdom would work great though, like imagine a drone show there. You can't do fireworks at Animal Kingdom because the animals, I feel like drones are good. But they'd have to make a drone show that works, like... I feel like they put so much work into making the environment of Animal Kingdom really go with everything. So I feel like drones might be kind of out of place, I don't know. They if they, make if it they work. can make it work, it'd be incredible. But I want to go to Dino Land one of these days. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen soon, but we should be prepared for anything. Closing. It's probably a good sign, hopefully. Yep. Well, if you guys are coming in, we are heading over towards Epcot, so feel free to stay tuned. Oh, interesting, Jeff. Yeah, drones would be really cool. I wish if Epcot ever got it, I think drones would work really well. I don't, that being said, I don't know how they would do it. I don't know if they could fly it over people like that. But if they could fly it with the Spaceship Earth shows. Yeah, I don't know. Because the, the dots on the Spaceship Earth are almost similar in design to the drones. Mm -hmm. So they could mix those pretty well if they really wanted to. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World monorail to Epcot. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Thank you. As we turn south, you can catch a glimpse of the spires of Space Mountain in the Magic Kingdom. Nearby is Disney's contemporary resort. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot of potential within what can I with that. So is the video ready to premiere then? Yeah. Okay. It's um unlisted, but you just set up the premiere. I'm gonna set up the. Or I'm gonna. I'll wait for now, I guess. Yeah, because we all know exactly what time.
Epcot for me? Welcome to Epcot for me. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, I don't think we're we're not close enough that the um, SpaceX or any kind of launch would affect the drones, and I don't think the drones would fly high enough anyway for that to matter. Because um, I can't, I don't fly my drone at Disney World, but we have a drone, and we'll fly it around, and the launch is never, the only time that that would affect is if we're over, like right on the coast, right along that water. Oh, interesting. So, Friday it's going to cool down again, and it's going to rain. Oh, that's a All Friday. Hmm. With, uh, oh yeah, remember there was going to be, we talked about camping Friday, because there were like, supposedly like flooding going to yeah. happen. Yeah. But um, Luke Black says floods. there's going to be one to two inches of rain. Wow. So, that'll be fun. Thank you, Luke. Did um, Mama Goose send you the thing about from the um, mayor in Ohio about the eclipse? No. He was talking about what they're expecting. He said that um, looking at other cities that have had an eclipse, a total eclipse over it, um, the population can double or even triple which means that we need to be prepared for the possibility of over 100,000 visitors. And they, they said there's a possibility that they will have no gasoline, no groceries, cell service, and internet could be interrupted, and some cities could experience sewer backups. So that's the peninsula? No, that's Kaiga Falls. Oh. We may have total gridlock. Our roads could be shut down with cars not moving. So they have ATVs ready for, um, like ambulance, they eat ATVs, and police have bicycles. <coughs> so the day of the eclipse, mm -hmm. we're flying home. Yeah. Well, like 9 p.m. and the eclipse well, is at like 3. That could be an issue. Well, we'll just fly home the next day if we have to. Okay. Martin, welcome, Martin. And Marie, welcome, Marie. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, thanks so much for coming in, Renee. Hopefully we'll dinner is time. good. Yeah. Sounds great. So, in Ohio where we used to live, that's in the eclipse map. So we're going to be going to Ohio for a couple days yeah. coming up soon. We could watch it from their front yard, I feel like, if, if nowhere else. Oh, that's true. We we're going to try and do a party that might be, like, different... There's venues places and restaurants that are having, and but everything is having parties. I don't know, I feel like if if it's as crazy as they're thinking, because that's just Tug Falls, but imagine yeah. like Cleveland is going to be... Cleveland's going to be terrible. So. Step in an ambitious space where you and your flight crew can sign up for the new out of the mission. And just next door is the new Space 220 restaurant where you can lift off and enjoy stellar dining and space. At Tesla, you can experience the exhilaration of test driving a vehicle. Oh, look, they're doing them, the birds. Oh, that's fun. You can see those tall things, the birds looking, and those are like, um. I don't remember what kind of birds it is, but every once in a while you'll see them dealing with. Look at this concrete up here. Oh, that's kind of long. All they have left is to do that one concrete and then they can make the plants. looks like a fountain in the center. 
I wish. I don't think that. It was that. like round and it had a hole in the center. Could that be where they're putting the stage? Maybe, I guess. It wasn't very big. Today. Not all over the place. We'll get a good finale here at Epcot. Remember to collect your belongings and take young children by the hand. As you exit, please lower your head and watch your step. Please remember to collect your belongings and take young children by the hand. As you exit, please lower your head and watch your step. Thank you. When boarding, please move all the way across the car to make room for everything. Kindly offer a basic seat. Let me Oh, Brownsburg Kevin. Welcome, Brownsburg Kevin. Oh, welcome. Alice, welcome, Alice. Hopefully everyone is doing good. So, um, Brownsburg Kevin mm -hmm. is a nice guy. But um, he was devastated because we were, like, oh, some of the first music. people to, like, recognize this. We were just standing, we were streaming, and we realized they were playing the original land background music mm -hmm. in the land, or outside the land pavilion. And it was great. So after that happened, other people started noticing. And, like, it exploded. Everyone was like, oh, the land music is back. This is great. And then, supposedly, they got rid of it. And, like, cast members were told, like, it's gone. Like, it's it's not here anymore. I came back yesterday. It was back again. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we'll it's have to investigate today. We'll have to check today. Maybe it's gone. Maybe there's Probably. some completely new music playing today. Yeah. We had some fish and chips the other day on St. Patrick's Day. I didn't. I did. You want some they sound today? They good. They kind of do. You can have some if you want. Yeah, everyone get your Eclipse glasses ready. They're still on yeah, Amazon. Yeah, get them now. I, I ordered some on Amazon not that long ago. So, I have a reusable pair. Ohio so. is getting the full Eclipse. It's not like a partial. Yeah, you can They're, see you're it'll be in the path of totality. totality. Yeah. And I remember once, like a couple of years ago, it was like a half one or something in Ohio. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, that it happened. I remember during the middle of high school, like all the glasses were sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you couldn't we get would, them anywhere. We would go in stores searching for glasses because they were sold out. Mm -hmm. but, I saw it because we were at, um, I don't remember that, Handles, that ice cream place. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was some guy there that had like a tiny little like piece of glass filter. And he was letting everyone look through it. <laughs> well, welcome, John Doe and Ryan. Hi, John. Welcome, Ryan. Hopefully, you guys are doing good here today. Not sure how much longer this stream is yeah. going to go. Goo's been at it since um, 8.30. 8.30 at, at, at Magic Kingdom. Now we're gonna come here. Maybe we'll get on some rides. Maybe we'll do some shopping, get some snacks. I know I have to leave probably around 2.30. Yeah. So we'll see how I'm doing. We'll see if we keep going. We'll see if we don't. Either way, we'll be live again tomorrow too. 
So we have lots of look, lots of streams, lots of videos, lots of things to look forward to. Yeah. Should be live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's the goal for this yeah. week, yeah. So this and is technically the first stream of the week, which we're aiming for five this week. Depending on what time you go tomorrow, I might be there. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as of right now, I'm not working on Friday, but I probably try to work at this point since I'm going to try to take Saturday off for the mm -hmm. thing. And then we can probably go Saturday morning. And then um, Sunday, I won't work on Sunday, so we can do Sunday. Okay, sounds good. Hello. Thank you. Have a great time. Thanks. Thank you. I've been doing an experiment. What's that? And I've been charging my magic band and wearing it every day for like a week. Uh-huh. And what happened? I'm just curious like if anything's like changing or like if they're ever adding anything to it. Not really. Nice. But it still lights up. I like when you um, scan it and it vibrates. Mm -hmm. It feels like you did something. I feel accomplished. Yeah, that was the other thing I was looking for last time there was the Eclipse. They said you could use like a welding helmet or welding glasses or something. Oh yeah. You I couldn't find those anywhere last time either. Oh, Luke, Luke will send some pictures of the Eclipse from Texas. Oh, that's that great. That would be awesome, yeah. I have one of the um, the filters I can screw on to the end of our camera lens, so I'm going to get a video of it. Brandy Kins. Welcome, Brandy Kins. Oh, hello. So, honestly, as far as the streams go and videos and things, there's so much that changes here. Mm -hmm. And I just love coming and, like, investigating, like, researching, oh, this is different, oh, that's happening. So, yeah. Even with food, like seeing different new food items, I love trying all the different food. But it looks like we got a super sticker. Oh, well, thank you so much, um, Karen. Karen actually sent $19.99 with a pair. A dancing pair. And the pair says, you are amazing. Gosh, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. We're so glad we can bring you along here today. Sure. We can, I don't care. I was okay, just... Let's do it. But thank you so much, Karen. We're so glad we can bring you along. It's been a great day so far. Yeah. I guess I'll take it. Okay. Once we get closer, should I clip my microphone to your shirt or? Um. Just do no microphones. No microphones? Okay. I know you were clipping it to the back of your shirt before. I used to. Um, it depends on what seat you get. Sometimes the seats have better microphones. Hello, thank, thank you. you. Okay, do it. Okay. Let's try it this time. Let me know how audio is this time. We're going to try something different. I'll wait until we get a little closer. Okay. Gary, welcome, Gary. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, it's so great, Jeff. Yeah, yesterday I noticed and I was like, oh, it's back. We should do a stream just like doing a picnic there, listening to the music. I love this mural. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step on the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. So this is Spaceship Earth. It's a very nice ride. Enjoy the ride, everybody. I'm going to take my microphone off. Hi, 
one can I have a back row? Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let me know how audio works. We're going to try a couple things. Hopefully, we won't get lagged. Stay tuned. Enjoy the ride. It should be good. Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. Thank you. The sliding door from your time machine will close automatically. Your safety remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. At all times. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. For your safety, remain seated at all times. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. This is Spaceship Earth Control. Welcome aboard. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time, and for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? Surprisingly, the answers lie in our past. Since the dawn of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. So, let's travel back in time together. I'll show you how our ancestors created the world we know today. And then it will be your turn to create the world of tomorrow. Here, in this hostile world, is where our story begins. We are alone, struggling to survive, until we learn to communicate with one another. Now we can hunt as a team and survive together. It takes 15,000 years to come up with the next bright idea, recording our knowledge on cave walls. There was only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. Now let's move ahead to ancient Egypt, because something is about to happen here that will change the future forever. This unknown Egyptian pounding reeds flat is inventing papyrus, a sort of paper. Papyrus, in turn, creates better record keeping, plans, designs, and unfortunately, taxes. But it also brings with it the dawn of great civilization. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them.
The ancient Greeks were great inventors of the future. First, they established public schools, and then began teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math comes mechanical technology and the birth of the high-tech life we enjoy today. With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. Here in Europe, monks toil endlessly recording books by hand. But that is about to change. In 1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field. And the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Places, a garage in California. Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance.
after 30,000 years of time travel, here we are, a truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth. In preparation for your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention, you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? let's add in some amazing new technology that we happen to know about. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. In the future, the city will be a great place to work. Innovative office buildings will be media-rich environments, outfitted with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality. Need to be somewhere? No problem. Just pack up and go. You'll be able to keep working because your car drives itself. Since you do your best thinking alone, you can bring your virtual tools with you and work while you commute, thanks to a personal digital assistant that carries all your files. Who knew that board meetings could be such a blast? Time to relax, but if you live to work, you can keep an eye on your projects with video streaming digital display glasses that bring you messages and news. This just in, looks like it's gonna be a great big beautiful tomorrow. The end.
or should I say the beginning of your future. So here's to the next 30,000 years on Spaceship Earth. While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure. An adventure that we'll take and make together. See you in the future. Welcome back, time travelers. Now, we invite you to visit Project Tomorrow, where new ideas and innovations are being developed to make the world a better place. Your vehicle doors will open automatically. Please keep your hands away from the doors and step carefully onto the moving platform. Thank you. Let me hold this for me. Oh, yeah. Are you good holding it for now? Yeah. Okay. Awesome, that was great. Well, for those of you who joined us, that was Space Shipper. Yeah. How did that turn out? I tried something different this time, and I think there was a little bit of lag, but I don't think it was bad at all. Um, hopefully it worked out good, though. Spaceship Earth is one of my favorites. I'm glad to show it to you guys. So, um, yeah, that'll be awesome. Richard, welcome, Richard. And James, welcome, James. Hopefully you're doing good. Also, welcome... To Mike Wazowski, welcome Mike Wazowski. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Matt is with me. Yeah. It's been great. All right. Okay, that was fun. Yeah. You want to go in Creation Shop? Yeah, might as well. Okay. We'll go see if there's anything new in there. See what else we get on. Thank you, Ernie. Was the audio good? I one time I used this method where we use the wireless microphones and I feel like you can't hear the music as good. Uh, I, don't know. I feel like the music is it's so good, like it's yeah, it ties everything together. Um, and it's great we can hear the narration, but I wish there was a way we could like like boost the music a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think the narration came pretty loud, which is great because sometimes you can't hear it because the narration comes behind your head. And depending on how sometimes the speakers aren't loud, sometimes they're loud, too loud. Trump says it's stream great. So one shot of Beverly for goo. What? So stream great, so I have to have torture? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I'm not sure if we'll end up getting on um, Frozen, I think. Oh, we should do there... Soren. Yeah, we could do Soren. So, the good thing about Soren is I I regret I don't like doing it because I like to use my other phone. Mm -hmm. And I don't like having to put that away. Yeah. That stabilizer. But if you're with me, we then can I can just, just yeah, and you I'll can wait exit. with you and I'll just walk yeah. through, yeah. But Frozen, I think we get a good amount of lag. We haven't mastered. Yeah, Frozen isn't terrible. It's also a long queue that's pretty laggy too. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't want to be stuck in that queue with bad connection. Not very many people in here. Yeah. It's quiet. Seems like Epcot isn't very busy today. Yeah. Compared to Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, I couldn't tell if it was just busy or um, two of the big rides were down. Oh. Um, Thunder Mountain and Pirates were both down. Was this a candle? Yeah. $30. 
Doesn't Is this one already open? It's opened a little bit. It just smells like a normal candle. I hmm. feel like some candles just have that candle smell. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they say with candles, you're supposed to smell like the lid. Yeah. Because if you smell the candle itself, then you get the smell of the wax. It's a luminous shirt. Gosh. That's fun. All the luminous merchandise, it seemed pretty obvious that they just rushed it out. Like, they just, they have like generic shirts. Yeah, it's just like the logo. Logo just put on generic shirts, which is fine. But same with the hoodie. It's not like a different type of hoodie. It's just like another. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to go do Soren now? Could or? we? Yeah, that would be good. We yeah, can listen fine. to the land music and okay. we can check on Soren or check on, yeah, either way. Oh, great. Nice. What? Forgot to put this phone to charge. Oh, nice. Does it have enough charge to... Let me charge it by the time we walk over there. It might be okay. fine. It doesn't have to last super yeah. long. We can switch back to this phone when... It just needs to last for like... 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Look at all that though. Look at the paneling they're putting on. Yeah, there. it looks like it's getting really they're close. They're definitely like putting finishing touches on everything. Mm -hmm. I love that design though, like the white. Mm -hmm. It's weird though. We really don't know what they're doing with this place. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it's going to look like. We just know that there's going to be the meet and greet. There's going to be a gallery and there's going to be some like kitchens. Yeah, there's going to be like demonstrations, demonstrations or something. And a stage. Yeah, welcome, Gail. Oh, welcome. And Orlando. Orlando, welcome, Orlando. How are you doing? So that's going to be, people like to use the term festival center. Um, that's probably the best way to describe it. Yeah. There's going to be like a gallery in there like with different um, art that they can change throughout the festivals or throughout the seasons. And there's also gonna be the Mickey meet and greet. There's gonna be a stage. There's gonna be room for cooking demonstrations and um, pretty much other any other entertainment they wanna have for the festival. They have walls up over in Morocco. Oh, I heard that. Oh, these are the new um, things. Oh. I wonder if they have walls up for the um, construction for working on the um, boat dock. Oh, yeah, that I one, heard about that. that one yeah. Look at the Horizons one. Oh, yeah. That's cool, the robot. Mm-hmm. Crystal said they were going to meet Jasmine. But um, there were walls up that oh, that's that weird. area was closed. That's strange. I don't know. I did hear like it's hard to get around there. Oh, the virtual queue is still open. Yeah, we need another goo cooking demonstration. We need to build like a goo test kitchen or something. Yeah. Somewhere. What were you thinking for tomorrow's stream? We really have no ideas. Um, I should be more organized, but I'm not. Um, maybe afternoon, maybe morning. I guess we'll see how things are going. We'll see if my sleep schedule is now morning after today. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna have an option because I have yeah. to, I work until 1.30. Let's go listen to the music for a second. Let's go for where we were the other day. Yeah.
There you go, this is the original wind music from 82. Like it? Why not? I don't. Know. I don't have an issue with it. Are you going to Hollywood Studios to do Rise and probably not today? No. No. I don't think we'll make it to Hollywood Studios today. Maybe soon though. We'll have to do it someday. Get Genie Plus. Yeah. Someday when I'm not there, you can get Genie Plus and um do a Hollywood Studios day. Oh, here's the. Um Listen to the land. Oh gosh. Yeah, as of now, it's here. It's it's not. Oh look, there's why is Snow White and what in the world? Let's walk over there. Excuse me. What is happening? Oh, that would be great, Jeff. Yeah, so there's rumors that Test Track might close. Yeah. You hear that? Mm-hmm. That's strange. What? So, Snow White and, um, what's his name? I don't know what the prince from Snow White. Too many names to keep track of. But for whatever reason, they're over here at the land. That's really strange. Yeah. I've never seen that before. The thing is, she meets over in Germany. Germany, yeah. So, like, this is kind of a strange occurrence. You want to go meet them? Um, there's nobody here. Like, nobody wanting to. Yeah. I'm okay, but... Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. I don't really like meeting characters much, but... Always keep your eyes open. You never know what you'll see around here. Timon and Pumbaa thing, it's not there anymore. The used... um, topiary, maybe they were talking about? Oh, the topiary, there is one over there. Yep. There used to be a show with Timon and Pumbaa. That is no more. <coughs> well, let's go do Soren real quick. Okay. Um, Cause you got, you've got to I'll go. run out of time yeah. if we're not careful. Yeah, Test Track has been needing to be redone since since, since the day that the current version yeah. opened. It's just kind of bland. Also, since then, the Magic Band technology has changed. Yeah. And the goofy um, car thing it never works sometimes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. All right, let's go that way because the okay. escalator goes down over there. So, um, can you stay with me until, like, when we sit down on the ride and then exit there? Yeah, I think so. So that way we can show the um, pre-show and everything stable. Okay. Yeah, it's already at 13%. Okay. We'll be good by the time we get there. There's Pluto. Nice guy. We came to Garden Grill for um, lunch a couple weeks ago. That was pretty decent. Breakfast, I think, is better.
five minutes for living with the land. It's great. We should do the behind the seats tour. So Test Track is being replaced by a different version of Test Track. So it's gonna be pretty much the same ride, maybe a different story. We really don't know at this point. Wait time is reading okay. at 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's, that's amazing. Okay. A lot of people are going in lightning lane, but. 15% is good enough, right? Probably. Or should I keep it, I guess I can. I don't care. You might as well keep it as long yeah. as you can, but. Thank you. All right, going to Soren challenge.com and you guys can play trivia with us i don't know if we probably won't be stopped long no. enough to play the trivia but <laughs> no yeah test track isn't closing yep yeah it's getting re imagined probably this they might change the storyline of it but like it's yeah. still you're going to be on a car going mm -hmm. fast and flying all over the place. Yeah. Maybe they'll improve the technology though. It'd be great if it wasn't as bumpy and mm -hmm. it's definitely showing its age. If you're in Norway, what would you use an Os Osterhovel for? Slicing cheese. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, I love behind the scenes. It's a lot of fun. Oh. It's so cheap. It's cheap enough. How much is it? Like $20, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Yep, that's the rumor. July is what people are saying for test track. Yeah. Apparently, like, they're pulling cast members around that time. So people are speculating. Now i got to agree with you about that, Andrew. I didn't like, Goo liked it, but I didn't like the goldfish on the macaroni. Where? At Garden Grill. Oh. I don't like it when they put it. just adds to the fun, like goldfish, the classic snack. I guess so. It's like when they put that drink with the Pop Rocks. Mm -hmm. at, uh, Space 220. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. Smells like Soren. No oranges anymore. Nice. Soren always had a kind of weird smell to it, though. Like, yeah. not the, not like once you get on the ride, but well, like, like in the like queue. There's like a scent. There's like a. It smells like. Um, a mixture of all the weird smells they spray. It, it smells like a um, like a new car scent spray. Oh, we're moving. Wow. Tori, welcome, Tori. Good afternoon. Oh, welcome. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the fun here today. Ben, 
Oh, welcome, man. Oh, hello. Tori's dead. Well, hopefully you're doing good. The pickle shake is horrifying. They used to have it. It was weird. I'll say that. It was... It was more... It was dill. Lots of dill. Yeah, I don't it was like just dill. a dill shake more. I think I, I've kind of learned... I don't think I mind pickles. I just don't like dill. Mm-hmm. It's my analysis. Because you liked the, um... Honey mustard pickles or whatever yeah. it was. You know the pickles at Regal Eagle? I didn't like them, but I could swallow them. They're without. just cucumbers, is all. They're not. Uh, they're like they're soft like cucumbers. Sweet. They had no flavor to them other than cucumber, other than bitterness. And That's a little harsh. So somebody told me. So I'm, I'm hearing different things about the peanut butter and jellies. About what? The oh, peanut butter and jellies? Yeah. PB and J Garden? Mm hmm. So somebody else told me that apparently they do it once in the morning. Mm hmm. And that whenever they run out, they run out. Oh. So I don't know. Maybe they do come out and maybe they do that. I don't really know. But I always wanted to do my stream where I just camp out until I bring the peanut butter and jellies out. Mm hmm. Jeff, welcome, Jeff. And Tom, welcome Tom, hopefully you're doing good. Welcome aviators, for your safety, we ask that you do not sit, stand, swing, or lean on those silver handrails or chains. We also ask that if there is any space in front of you, go, go ahead and fly forward, filling all of that in for me. Once again, please fly forward, filling in all available space. Thank you so much. Maybe, um, what's his name will come out after the pre show? After. Yeah. So when do you work tomorrow? I think six. Six? I'm going to actually do a repeat of what I did today. Come early? Come early and then you can come at some point and then come like... Not like take over, but be there to... Mm -hmm. And you can do that for a little bit and then we can just go along tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe we should do early entry at um, Animal King. Maybe I should do it. Oh, you could. There we go. So after the pre-show ends, mm -hmm. 
that's when we're supposed to switch the phone, so be ready. Okay. I'll be ready, and I'll look at you, and we can give her mm -hmm. cues to each other. So I guess I should just say two, just... Yeah, say two for now, I guess. If you want to ride, you can ride just... I don't want to. Okay. Thank you. Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling it. That's work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party if you arrive at the Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice flight. Good afternoon, everybody. For center strap, large bags can be pushed off to the side and then to hold onto them tightly. Have a nice flight, everyone. 
Ustedes pueden tomar nota de esta El error de es una cosa que se puede usar. Como el hotel es el que se Okay, we're good. Alright, put one in here. Okay, you're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. We are now conducting our final systems check. Please stow all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten su vuelo. You don't need it, yeah. Just pulling the yellow strap. Nice, nice hard pull. Yellow strap. Right. And then pulling that yellow strap to your right for me. Yellow strap to your right. Give it a pull. for takeoff.
entire flight crew. Thanks for soaring with us. To unfasten your seatbelt, just push down on the red button on your right. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the underseat compartment and exit to your right. Have a great stay here in that cup or wherever your final destination may be. All right, that was awesome. Here, let's go this way. Let's go find Matt wherever he's hiding. Don't get shaky for a minute. I'm going to put the Be Right Back screen on just so I'm not making anyone sick. I think you guys can still hear me, but I don't want to make anyone sick here for a second. Oh, you're here. It's a black screen. No way, that's not. That's just really. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, is the bright or exposure all? Oh, it's zoomed in. That's good. Oh, okay. I never unzoomed it when. Oh, during the pre-show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Perfect. Soaring, soaring around the world. Yeah. Rather than California. Oh, that was fun. I think it turned out pretty good. Were you watching it all? I watched part of it. Okay. I got distracted. You should probably start getting out soon. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll take this back. You can keep your microphone on it until you leave officially. But let's go this way. Should I? Do I get that thumbnail fi fixed or? Okay. Do you have enough time for me to finish this with you along the way? Do you have enough time for me to wrap this up along the way? Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for coming along, everyone. We are going to start to wrap this up. We're not going to wrap it up just yet, but we're going to start to wrap it up. Um, when the stream ends, we're going to redirect you guys to a premiere of a video on our other channel. Yeah. So if you guys want to stay tuned, the fun will continue, and that'll be very fun. So if you guys want to join us there, that'll be great. I'll set that up momentarily. Oh, the escalator's broken. Oh, nice. Hi, Gary. I wish they were tra transform into 3D. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. I think some people would like it. I, I for one, appreciate an attraction that's screen-based that doesn't have 3D glasses because I hate having to deal with them and at least in the filming aspect but I think it would be very cool if it was in 3D they have to figure out what to do too if people like drop their glasses that's true yeah which I guess they, they could have that problem over at um Flight of Passage but it's a little bit of different seating Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> well, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching here tonight. I know one thing that's probably on the topic of many people's mind is how do I come here and experience this? How do I come and see the new land music returning? And I do have your solution. If you want to check out our friends Rob and Trish over at Integrated Travel Solutions, they are your gateway to adventure. They can help you book your trip here, Epcot, or anywhere around the world for that matter. So if you'd rather do international travel here at Epcot, or if you'd rather do international travel actually international, mm -hmm. um, Rob and Trish are experts travel agents who can help you figure that out. So if you want to check out Rob and Trish over at Integrated Travel Solutions, they are your gateway to adventure to help you figure out your trip. So if you want to check out Rob and Trish, we'll get a link for them in the description. And um, yeah. They are expert travel agents who can assist you in booking your trip, whether it's Disney World or anywhere else you might want to go. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Check out Robin Trish. Thanks so much, everyone. That being said, once we do wrap this up, I think we're gonna send you guys over to other channel. So stay tuned. I'm gonna set this up very quickly. You want me to set up the time of the premiere? Yeah, can you do it 25? Yeah. Okay, try. You'll have to hurry. Oh, that's great, Lisa. Oh, congratulations once again. Enjoy your prize. That's fantastic. Oh, hi, Michelle. There's Communicore Hall. They're putting, like, tape? Or is that, like, intentional? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't... Some of those are probably going to be kind of Unless they are going with, like, the colors of the different um, neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, I bet the ones with the holes in them have light, are going to have lights. That's probably what's happening. Okay, are you good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. So let me set up the redirect. So we don't know for sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow. We should be definitely around. So be sure to be ready for anything. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, please do not forget. Make sure you do hit that like button. Also make sure you subscribe. And um, yeah. That'd be great. Is it public? Yeah, it's Premiere. Is it now showing up? There's Pluto. We can go visit Figment while we're Oh wait, I premiered that for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Should I change it real quick? Should I change it to 30 though? Yeah, change it to 30. We have to set up the new settings redirect. Okay. So, are you going to Yeah. I'll take the stabilizer, we can head towards the front. There we go. Sorry everyone, we're doing something a little bit different today. And Matt has to get to work, so we have to to some extent that being said yes we will be live again tomorrow we should be live again every single day for the rest of the week uh we'll have a video that we'll redirect you guys to momentarily but um that being said it's been a great day we went to magic kingdom we rode basically every single ride we could and we came to epcot we rode two rides we got to walk on soren uh, it was a great day so let's go this way we're gonna walk towards the front of the park we're gonna see what we can do over there I think it'll be good.
Yeah, it's such a nice area. I love just walking yeah. through this park. Okay, you're good? Yeah. Oops, sorry. You're good. Take this back for a second. I'm ready to go try to take a little nap before I have to leave. Oh, welcome back, d -Lo. You're just in time. Back, also, welcome to, um, oh, Ralph. Ralph says, Goo, watch your mailbox. I just mailed it today. Oh. There you go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ralph. We'll keep an eye out for it. Whatever the surprise may be. Look, there's no line at all for Spaceship Earth. That's crazy. Yeah, Magic Kingdom is busy. I couldn't tell if it was because it's early and it's busy then. It might be empty tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it working this time? Yep, I'm just um, changing it so it's a precise time. Okay. Stop at this trash can up here. Yep. There goes the monorail. Nice monorail. So tomorrow we don't know what park we're gonna do. We're gonna try and get Animal Kingdom in Hollywood Studios one of these days coming up. But that being said, there is a lot to look forward to. We're trying to get our pictures and everything other thing considering. Yeah. So make sure you stay tuned for all that too. I don't think tomorrow will be a day for that though. Like we're not going to be busy tomorrow. No, I'm just saying there's lots to look forward to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll be at the cabins. To. We're going to Disneyland in August. 1900 Park Fair will be. We have reservations. We're going to yeah, we're breakfast and dinner. Yeah. So we'll have that. Um, and we'll be traveling traveling to Ohio to see the total solar eclipse. We'll have a video of that. That'll be fun. So yeah, if you guys want to see all that, make sure you're subscribed not only to this channel. But to our other channel, yeah, the one we're redirecting, redirecting you to right now. So, if you guys are coming in, please do not forget to make sure you do the like button, subscribe. I think from here we'll wrap it up. Make sure yep. you guys stay tuned. We're going to redirect you guys over to the video on our other channel. So, make sure you join there. Hit the yep. like button on that video and subscribe. But that being said, it's been